Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast. I'm not sure about you, Simon, but I don't know what it is about guys. I can't not sit like this. I just can't not do it. What do you mean, I don't like, know about guys, but... <laughs> no, sorry, I don't know about you, but guys yeah. seem to struggle sitting like this. Um, you, know how the, you know how girls always have a go about mansplaining? Wait, no. Man, mansplaining. Spreading. Man, yeah. Sorry, mansplaining is a real thing. Manspreading yeah. is also a real thing, too, but, like, I can't sit like this. Um... I can for a bit, I can't, but I can't like this. my leg always goes up at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always my right leg. Yeah. We were doing more stabbing of the day, and I was sat with Josh, and Josh was doing this with his other leg, and our, our feet were touching. <laughs> and I was cute. like, that's really like, you know. That's, that's... What about this one? I've started doing that more and more. It's it's not bad, but like only for a... <laughs> not in public, no. But if I'm Definitely at home, never if I'm at home, I'm like chilling like, yeah, man, cool. <laughs> but also, You're not even doing it. What do you mean? That's just... That's what? not even it. What is it? What is it? What, what? This. That is it. What is it? No, you're you're doing a bit. You're, you're a bit. You're, 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> but I can't say like this though. Girls, you can't do that. It crushes everything. You know, <laughs> got like spread a little bit. Huh? Anyways, welcome back, guys. Welcome <laughs> back. Uh, we actually. What's, what's with the clapping, man? We actually don't have much to talk about today because John just decided we, we not to do his job today. We have a few. No, but he decided not to do his job. Wow. Just, we, we did three podcasts last week or whatever. Well, John, I thought you were stepping up to the producer role. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, mate. Speaking I'm of producers, <laughs> probably C would not come to a podcast without our topics. <laughs> he wouldn't. No, he is the best. No, not, not even that he's the best. He just tries. Yeah, he does try. Well, he is a host, though, to be fair. He's not a host. He's a producer. He's pretty he's much all, a host. He is a host. So that's what a producer is. Producer's always on. No, uh, he, never. No. But he's not never. on. Well, he needs to step up. He will be on. When the new set is here, he will be. I was going to say, if he's not but on. That is what happens. Producers are always on. If he's not on, then he's technically not the producer, which means he shouldn't technically have to find topics. Well, whose side are you on? The side of law. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, young Jamie and Joe Rogan, speaking of, did you hear the meal? Um, Joe Rogan signed a 250. <laughs> Freezy said it. <laughs> no, no, no. So, hold on. Uh, Joe Rogan signed a $250 million. Spotify deal yeah. for his podcast, and apparently you heard it's, it's actually non-exclusive, yeah. so you yeah. can actually post. What on... Freezy talks about the meal. Well, then listen, okay, so we went for the trips <laughs> meal, as you guys know from the last episode, and then I put this topic into the uh, into the chat. Yeah, and you were like, "Oh, we spoke about it at the meal. Welcome to the meal or something." But because it was not a round table, it was a long table. I actually was not in the conversation sometimes. But my point was more Freezy talks about it. And you were sat, sat next to yeah. him. But he might, have, he might have projected over there. I didn't hear it. I didn't even hear the conversation. Yeah, he was saying that he just can't post it on YouTube. Mm. He can't post the full thing on YouTube. But he can no. do it with Twitter. Yeah, that's but, it. But also, because he's been doing some podcasts with Elon. And Elon lives in Austin, which Joe Rogan lives in as well. So, um, sorry to bring up Texas again, guys. By the way, so John said he moved these chairs more like this way. <laughs> oh, no. Because you, got, you lot were saying you don't like the, the camera being... You don't like me and Simon looking at each other, but like you did in the first episode, and it's because the the edit is showing more wide. But I actually, I'm gonna go back a bit. Can I? I just <laughs> you do what you want. I don't like being too open because it makes me look at the screen more, and I, I just want to look at you, man. Thanks. It's okay. It's okay. I just want to look at you. All right. Um. Oh, I'm feeling feisty today. Let's talk about the meal. Yeah. Okay. Great meal. Great meal. Actually, I thought it was up there with one yeah. of the best. Yeah. And also, by the way, the restaurant was really good. Yeah. So JJ, Ooh. I think we might have explained this before, but. <laughs> Uh, whenever we said, oh, let's go on a meal, we always go, where should we go? I trust, I think I trust Freezy and Lux the most. Because they go more. They go everywhere and mm. they've tried loads of stuff. They're yeah. always like, this is a good place, this yeah. is a good place, whatever. So JJ goes, sexy, this is seven months ago, a year ago, JJ's like, sexy fish. And I'm like, one, seems like it's very fish themed. Mm. And for those who don't know, Simon over here, our good friend, hates fish. All seafood. So... I was kind of against it. And then I looked at the menu and I was like, there is food I can eat. There's steak, there's whatever. I was like, I would go, but then Freezy and Lux were both like, eh, it's a bit average. Yeah, everyone called it like stinky fish, honky fish, <laughs> fish. Mid midi fish. Midi. <laughs> and then every single time someone's tried to organize a meal, they've gone, where should we go? JJ goes, sexy fish. Mm. And everyone shuts them down. Whereas this time, I know I put in the chat like, no, nah, we're doing it. Where should we go? Brackets, not sexy fish. You said straight away, sexy fish? Oh, shit. And then JJ, we eventually said, let's just go. And then JJ shuts up forever. Mm -hmm. We went and it banged. Yeah, it was really good. I thought it was yeah, really like, The room really was really good. nice. There's like an aquarium in there. Fish is swimming around. Sorry. Do you, do you mind Do you mind that? No. You like, don't I mind? don't mind an aquarium, no. Cool. Would you have it in your house? Uh, to look at? No, but not because I don't like fish. No, because it just seems like a bit of a hassle. True. Because I don't want like a, just a fish bowl. 
No, I'd want like a sick. I'd want what they have, where it's yeah, like a yeah, giant yeah. wall of aquarium, yeah. and I know like then you have to go and do the filters and um, blah blah blah. True, but I mean, you you wouldn't do the filters. No, I wouldn't. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just I don't care enough. No, I know. But hold on, but don't you think that if you had like a little fish and you fed a fish, you would actually grow to them, warm to them? Then I wouldn't want to eat them. Hmm. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. True. No. Nah. Because at the moment I don't want to eat them because they're gross. Then I would love them and I wouldn't want to eat them. Yeah, I, I get that. Like I don't want to eat a dog. No, I, I don't. No, I don't. I actually don't. But I think I'd still. Actually, that's a good point. If I had a fish, you'd have I, to become really attached to the fish, and I don't think you can. No, I think I could because I. I have, uh, like, look, at, look at little Timmy swimming around. Yeah, but you can't like. You can't really play with a fish. You see how you can get attached to a dog, a cat, whatever, because you can play with them. Bless you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're not going to play with a fish. No, but, but it could come up to me and I could be like tapping on the window and it could be like swimming over and I'd be like, oh, look at little Timmy swimming over to me. Why do you keep calling your fish Timmy? I don't know. I don't know why I keep calling it Timmy. Damn, Nick's going deep on this website. <laughs> do you think you could get as attached to a fish as a dog or a cat or another animal? No, no, no. I'm not saying as. I'm saying you still could have some But to sort the of... point where it like you actually consider it like You a don't friend. get the love back, I don't think. Yeah. But you could... No, but the, 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 I'm saying you would... Obviously, it's not going to come cuddle you up, you know? But I feel like it would do things that would make you go like, oh, it's tried, you know? I think that's you just like wishing though. They yeah. don't really have personalities. Maybe, that's, maybe that says a lot about me and who I am as a person. I think I do that with people as well. I pretend they actually like, you know, have, like me or something or like, you know, yeah. It's about to get deep. Yeah. Can you give an example of that, please? Um, no. <laughs> 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 but anyway, yeah, the troops meal was really good. You guys ended up going out afterwards. Into casino. Yeah. How was that? I haven't heard anything about it. Oh, it's really good actually. Yeah, I um obviously I'm not trying to spend too much money right now because of everything, but I uh I, I broke even. Okay. So that's good. So I for those who don't know what that means, I didn't lose anything. So did you even bet? Yeah. Okay. I bet. Um the boy J JJ won some good money actually. Calux, you know how Calux is on Blackjack? Yeah. He does the perfect pair. He's yeah. always winning he wins everything. We literally sit down and, and, jo and Josh goes, oh, here he is again. We all go, oh, here's Calux again, man. The first hand, literally the first hand, he gets a suited perfect pair, like King King Hearts. So he wins loads of money on the perfect pair. Looks was up like four grand at one point. And then he, uh, we left and he just put it all on roulette and lost it. You know, which is cool. Damn. Which was mentioned in my vlog, by the way. So I'm not, it's not, that's not me gossiping. Yeah, he, yeah. he said it with his own will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and then, oh, again, I probably, whether I can say this or not, we were, uh, we were cashing out, right? And... Or, or JJ was with someone cashing out, and this guy comes over and just chucks down two, um, you know, the plaques that you have like money on. Yeah. A mil each. What? <laughs> <a> mental. <laughs> Mad. JJ, JJ was like, bro, I've just seen someone cash out two mil. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? And he's like, were you yeah. leaving at that point? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. He didn't obviously cash it out. They didn't give him cash. No, no. Were you leaving? Oh, I, no. I was, I was on the blackjack table. JJ was getting his money to come meet us. And he said he saw someone while he was doing that. I'm surprised that didn't make JJ like... No, he was. He was like, what the fuck? Oh, no. Go more. Yeah. No, I think I'm he... I'm surprised JJ didn't go like, oh, you can do a mil. I'll do a mil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think he was like... JJ was like, wow. He felt like shit. <laughs> he came back and he was like, well, like, it's crazy how people are that rich and just no one knows who they are <laughs> i think he felt small man <laughs> but uh yeah i mean jj is getting crazy he, he but you know what? he hasn't gambled in a while he said i believe him yeah uh i kind of believe him yeah he's just got a very addictive personality as do i but i don't have the means you know yeah well i mean now he's had he's had one golf lesson yeah and he is obsessed he is although in the golf lesson it kind of sounds like the guy just told him to just do what he wants. That's why I said, are you sure he's a professional? That's, yeah. Because, so, we went and played with JJ. Me, have we spoken about this already? Yeah. How we played? Yeah, it was on Randall's vlog. Well, no. That, but did we talk about it on here? Okay. So, yeah, we talk, we, we've spoken about that we played. Then after that, he's gone and had a lesson. And his his teacher basically told him just hit it i think what happened was it's his first lesson as a coach the coach has said just hit it how you normally hit it then hit that, then give him some confidence and we'll gather your data i'll look at the videos i'll look at your swing and then next session we'll fix things that's what i'm hoping but jj was gassed though he's like oh i finally understand golf now i get it i get why you guys like it and, and he was saying it as if like he's unreal now yeah and he's like, i was hitting like the eight iron 108 yards which actually is really far by the way i can't hit that far um and he sent us the videos and stuff. But then he was only using the, the pitching wedge and the eight iron, which is fine. But then he was like, get me back on the course. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, but you're gonna get your driver again and still like miss the white eight times. Yeah. 
And the but, swing still wasn't like Yeah, yeah. So I'm think I think the lessons went fine, but I'm I was confused at his like gas level, you know. The thing is I think I think it's the same as everything, right? Where you you probably improve drastically to get from, you know, a handicap of like I know you don't have handicaps of seventy, mm. but to get from a handicap of seventy to forty yeah. is easier than mm. 20 to 10. Yeah, like I'm sure the coach will say, this is how you should grip it. This is how you should stand. Yeah. And all those, th- those things really help. Because when, you, when you're like, like, if you don't know golf, you never had ever played, you don't know how to stand at all. You don't know what to do. So even like keeping your left arm straight, like, you wouldn't know that. So like once he gets those things, I'm sure it'll be fine. And then the thing is, he's very athletic and he actually is good at stuff. So it's like when he gets good, if he gets good, he's going to be really annoying. <laughs> he actually really is. Because you're going to get those like, you know, in his drive, when he hit the drive well, he actually hit it really far yeah. and straight. So, you know, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be slicing it around. Everyone's gonna be, and he's gonna be like bulleting it down. And he's gonna be so cocky. I'm looking forward to it though. Cause imagine like, no, it would be amazing. say imagine in five years, right? So the only two that don't really play now are Vic and Toby. Yeah, but when, when JJ put in the chat though about him uh, enjoying golf, Toby was like, oh really? We asked him on Sidecast the other day and he was kind of like, ah, oh, at some point, at some point. Like he was, he was down cause he enjoyed it in Switzerland, but mm. he was just like, not now. Yeah, sure. But imagine five years time, right? You've got at least eight of us. Mm. We can go play two four balls. Yeah. And you can you can chuck money on it if you want. Mm. But you could play two four balls and you actually don't know who's going to win. Yeah, no, you're true. Every, be good. every single one of us, like Freezy will probably still be better than us. But, but even then, by, by then, we'll actually probably have like quite accurate handicaps though. So then you can just play. Play actual. When, when you've yeah. got actual handicaps, like and not like, because I mean, like me, even me and you, like sometimes it's like 28, sometimes it's 32. So it, someone can be that bad that, you know, yeah. they're worse than the handicap. But then in, in the future, if we've got like a solid one, say someone's like 20, 18, 22 or whatever, then you can actually... Yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah, it would oh, be sick. Um, stop playing more. Well, um, recently, mm. since then, there's been a big moment, a new era. I heard about of this. Of the side men. Where did you, did you hear about it at the match? Yeah, though? so I was at the Arsenal-Liverpool game yeah. at the box and Viz, Viz said uh, that you mentioned it. And to what, like, see what JJ's mood's like. Yeah. But he arrived quite late. Okay. So I didn't get to talk to him in the... But I talked to him at half time and he was... But you got intro, intro. So, so basically, we have our card system, side men, tally, whatever. whatever. We've explained that 10 million times. We had something that like reset a certain part of our analytics. And we, JJ replied to it and said like, oh, maybe we should just reset everything, like the tally and everything. And at first there was like a little bit of like a, why would we do that? And then, so I was thinking, like I backed him on it and I was Mm. like, you know what? There's no difference between him being, you know, 150 behind and 160 behind. Because he missed like a year and a half or whatever. I was like, let's reset it and hold people accountable from now. Because he doesn't have fights coming up. If he falls behind, you know he's slacking. He's not doing something else. So I was kind of like, "I'm, I'm, I'm down. And bear in mind, by the way, I'm I'm high up in most of them. I'm yeah. second on reacts. If I get my videos for the more side men time, I'm second on main channel. I'm like third on more side men. So it doesn't actually like you're saying that you're not low down. So it doesn't. I'm benefit not doing you it. Resetting. Yeah, I'm not doing it to benefit me. Sure. Um, it actually benefits others way more than me. Yeah. But I backed JJ. I was like, you know what? Let's do it. See what happens. Like we've got to keep switching stuff up. Otherwise, we're just gonna get stuck in this rut sure. and just repeat and whatever. So. There's a long going argu- ongoing argument of like two, three days, like constant messages. And eventually like everyone chimed in. Mm. We had a vote and reset the tally. So now, now there's like a huge argument about it still. But still it's, going. Well, the gonna... vote's done. Yeah. So it's, it's done. And, is, is there, and it has been reset. So on it the has been reset. Whatever. Yeah. So in, is there a history of what it was? We've, oh, we've archived it. Okay, okay. But okay. from... We're recording this on Monday, yep. so midnight last night oh. was like the point where it all reset. Nice. Did you all get in a call together and like put candles on and go? No. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so I will tell you JJ's reaction. So to be fair, I actually think it's a good idea because of the fact that, as you said, well, no. So JJ was like, well, he was telling me, and he was like, well, obviously I had my fights. Ethan had his baby and stuff. So you you took time off. Where where to be fair, it actually is warranted. Like, so the thing about that was. Um, there was the conversation of like, oh, maybe we should just give JJ videos back because obviously the fight was benefiting the sidemen. Mm. And I was like, yeah, but then you can't not give Ethan ones for having a baby mm-hmm. because that doesn't benefit us view-wise or anything like that. Yeah. But it's a very fair excuse. Yeah, it's like, it literally So it's is. like, okay, now do you, do you let Ethan off some videos? Do you, mm. you know, I did more sometimes, do you let me off video? Whatever. Um, and the reason I asked about JJ's mood was because like, 
he was so gassed in the chat. He, you could tell he was gassed. And then he went to the Arsenal match and I was like, I want to know what he's like. Because it had only just happened like an hour before. Yeah, so he said to me, he was like, well... No, I think he was chatting to Viz about it and I was, and I was there, you know, as well. And I think... Obviously, we're not, we're not trying to put people on blast here. But he goes, whenever I have an argument with Josh, Josh always wins, man. Or something like this. <laughs> or he's like, whenever I have an idea, Josh just shuts me down. <laughs> Which, I, I don't know if it's true or not. But, you know. But then, so he was saying he was surprised that, like, it actually... Happens. Kind of went forward, yeah. Because yeah. he's, like, he's like, oh my God, it's actually happening. <laughs> um, but to be fair, I think it's really good because say JJ is like 150 behind. Like you say, he if is, he goes 10 more behind, it, he's not going to... It he's makes not gonna, no difference. No difference. But also, he's not going to actually hold himself accountable. Whereas I said to him though, I was like, just so you know, if you reset it, they're actually, they're actually now going to hold you accountable though. He, and he goes, yeah, that's fine. Though. That's fair. Like now that's fair, which makes sense, you know? So more side men. Josh was first. He was 128 behind. Wow. Reacts. Uh, Toby is first. He was 190 behind. Wow. So it's like he falls up 200 behind. No one cares. It's like if you're late to a meeting, right? If you're like five minutes late, that's quite bad. But if you're 10 minutes late, that's quite bad still. But if you're like three hours late, the difference between being three hours late and four hours late is not nothing at that point. You're, you're already you're like so far late. Yeah. 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 So but I think it's a good thing. What's to stop him falling 150 behind again and going, oh, guys, reset it again? Because you're not boxing now. So I think that was the argument was, okay, but if we know we're going to reset it every year, what's the point of it? But at this point, what's the point of it anyway? Because you can fall behind and nothing happens. Whereas the whole thing of falling behind, we've now set the precedent of like, uh, we've spoken to Victor, for example, and said, Someone's falling behind on more side men. You tell them, you know, you put it in the chat, put them on blast, say, JJ, you haven't done as many videos this week. You need to catch up. Like, make time yourself and film an extra three videos. And just calling people out a bit more. Because at the moment, it's like, you know, I miss four sessions. Ultimately, it doesn't make a difference. And, and also, it's like, why? So when, when you're 120 behind, it's like the why stops becoming a thing because it's like, I'm just missing one, you know? Whereas like if it's reset and you miss... Because now, now if you miss one right now, that's 100% of your misses. Yeah. So it's like, what did you do to miss that one session? It's like, oh, if, you, if I'm ill, okay, cool. But if you're ill, you got to catch it back, you know? Yeah. And right now, you know, there's no fight coming up, you know? Ethan's not having another baby as of right now. <laughs> no, there's no plan. <laughs> well, I mean, there might be a plan. Yeah. But we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> um, you know, so yeah, so right now it's like everyone, and also it's at a point where like, it's a new year as well. And you guys have actually been putting some bangers out. So it's like, okay, how do we keep that going? And this could be an incentive to do that. So yeah, I'm all for it. Well, well I don't have a say, but I'm like, <laughs> sounds cool to me. I mean, there are, there are obvious arguments against it as well but yeah. i was just yeah i was on the side of i'm it. um i'm coming to a sideband shoot today you are which is really i, I also want to say i've said it so many times thank you guys for being really nice about the vlogs because <laughs> you, you mentioned right. on the sidecast were you on that on that sidecast yeah i was yeah you guys were guessing it up apparently i saw josh on stream guessing it up and you know what i'm like when you guys clap me i don't like it so i'm, I'm getting too much praise right now okay so you can start hating i mean me. the vlogs have got a bit shit recently don't do that. <laughs> but what do you want? No, no, do you want no, no. But have you been shit? You're just joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I it feels like that. your enthusiasm for him went down a little bit. I haven't watched the last two. Yeah. Me or him? No, he's been serious now. No, I'm, no, I'm Sorry, sorry wait. I'm taking the piss. Okay, okay, I'm taking okay, the piss. Okay, okay. Are you saying his enthusiasm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I have done less of my I mean, life. You were, you were definitely... Your enthusiasm, it's not low. It's not even mid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I think you were definitely more enthusiastic in america oh that, that i was but more like, like that was me actually battling myself yeah you know but no i'm gonna go on some trips again no i, I mean actually, i'm joining them and i know that uh, so, so someone we spoke about on the podcast i guess and you were like make sure you don't you know seek out videos and, and then someone commented on this video right here where I, I went to a authentic texas barbecue in london and someone's like oh you're doing exactly what Simon said not to do but i don't think you meant like that, that just took me an hour nah, i, I mean, went to get some food in london yeah you had nothing on that day you yeah went, you went and got food like yeah. it's not i mean more like you're you're like, okay, what have I filmed all of today? I'm at, it's 6 p.m. and I'm like, shit, I don't have a title. Mm. Freezy, I need you to, I need to do a prank on you. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. is like more my thought. Yeah. If you're like, oh, I'm going to go get some food today and it's, that's a title, calm. Mm -hmm, of course, but, yeah. I, I would never do that anyway. And I'm like, yeah, I was, I was like, well, I did the Texas one where I went to one in America and at Bangs. I was like, there's one literally 15 minutes away from me. I like go and film that. Um, it's actually really hard to like, Talk in public. I was putting in the chat, right? I was yeah. like, it's really weird in the UK to talk. talk. In, in America, I felt so much more free to do it. But um, why, why, why did I bring this up? Uh, you were talking about us talking on side. Side men, no. So, so uh, now I'm doing uh, the vlogs. People keep inviting me to things to vlog, which is kind of kind of cool. You know, Freezy is like, oh, come. well, Freezy was like, come to a trip for one of his videos. He's like, oh, also you can vlog the pits where I don't film, which is quite quite, yeah. quite cool then. Because that's also like, I might not have gone if. I didn't have the vlog side, yeah. you know, so now I can do both and everyone's happy. But then, so Josh, you guys are doing a Simon video, which is just coming after the, 
It's not it's out yet. It's next week. Okay, sure. Yeah, but I can mention that I'm going on it at least. Yeah. So Josh was like, oh, do you want to come? I can say that he's he, it's one of the ones where he's like, a, yeah, yeah. he's he, a host. He was, we were, I don't know where we were. We were filming something the other day and Josh was literally like, oh, I might invite Randy just to kind of, he can vlog, but he'll also just be with me because whenever we do those videos where he's host, he's not, he's on his own. Yeah. So he might he, as well have you with him. That creates more content for us mm. and then you can vlog and you get content. Yeah. Cause he, he does like, he he dictates what you guys do, right? So yeah. you have the rules and he was saying like technically he didn't have to even be there. Like he could do it from home, but he it's could, good yeah. for the video to be there. It's definitely better for the video. For sure. Yeah. But, but I think he's just saying like in general, like I can vlog like us chilling and doing whatever we're doing. And then yeah. when it's time to him give you the rules for the video, then, you know, yeah. Um, so I'm doing that. Cool. Cool. Little, little trip, yeah. little trip out. Well, the video we just put out, which you won't have seen, obviously, yeah. is The Chase. Sidemen The Chase. Uh. And we filmed it in the actual studios. And yep. it's so sick. Stephen tries again? Stephen tries, Ooh, yeah. Let's go. COVID? Did he have, did he have COVID this he time? He didn't have COVID. He was, he, he's elite. He's yeah, so he good. But I, I think he's the guy, he's the guest who adds the most to a Sidemen video. Yeah I'd, yeah, I'd agree with that. We did yeah, it on the podcast recently and I yeah. said, uh, Nicole Scherzinger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he just... Um, he, he smashed it and like the amount of jokes that he um like he would add in off the cuff mm. and i saw all the crew just like creasing because really? they used to obviously they filmed the normal show oh the actual crew it was the Not actual like crew. John. john was there um because we did like a couple of other things and obviously they were yep. making sure whatever but uh do they have the chasers so i can't remember what happened with the actual chasers but we ended up not using the chasers because what's the point like we would get destroyed. Like it wouldn't even be close. There's mm. like, yeah. So we ended up, we had Vic as the chaser uh, and there was six of us. So we obviously, we had to go in pairs. Mm. So we had me and JJ, Josh and Toby, Harry and Ethan. Oh, okay, nice mix. And yeah, it was just honestly like, normally those kind of videos, we would just kind of turn up and we're like, yeah, whatever. Like, all right, it's our turn to answer questions. Cool, done. For some reason, we go over to do the quick fire one where you have a minute to answer questions. Mm -hmm. Me and JJ are shitting ourselves. Really? Yeah, We're literally like bricking it. I think it's because yeah, on the actual set, it feels more real. 100%. Than like a, yeah, yeah. a Simon one. Yeah. And then we, we do the actual thing against Vic. And we're literally there like, we, we're, we celebrate so hard when we, we won. Mm, of well, course. not won, but we got back. Oh, sure. You know what is, what that, I mean? is that a spoiler? No, you know what I mean? Where you, you beat the chaser at the first part. So you get to okay, go Okay, sure, 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 sure. Like the celebrations were just nuts. And I've never, I've never seen many game shows where we've reacted no, like and, that. Me and uh, Tanya, the producer, we turned around, turned to each other and went, well, that reaction was unrecorded. I actually asked her, I said, is the money real this time? Because you guys <laughs> never react like it, that. It and was. I mean, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean this time? I mean, I, the, no, the, the money was real. The money was real, whoa, yeah. that's crazy. Well, you, you know how it ended. Oh yeah. So the money was real. The money was real, <laughs> the money was real. Yeah. Um, yeah, like when Harry and Ethan had their go against Vic. Yeah. That reaction was unreal. Like mad. It it's like it might be up there with the most energetic. It was like phase crossbar challenge type. Mad, mad. Well, you guys actually were quite energetic for the end of the Golden Balls too. Cuz I was watching that. Yeah. And you actually cared. Yeah. No, it was not. more than that. Yeah, no, yeah. Like way more wow. than that. Wow. Okay. And I I was going to ask as well. Have you ever, guys have you guys ever done, done pointless on Simon Channel? No, we haven't. I always loved that game. Yeah. That's when I used to come home from school and watch I that. I think you have done Pointless. Have we done point? I don't think we've done Pointless. Let's have a look. Sidemen Pointless. I don't know if you called it Pointless though. Yeah. Oh, we did do uh, Pointless. Yep. Yeah. We did do Pointless. 8. I, hosted, 4 mil. I hosted it. Oh, Wait, oh, you were the host. That's not the one. You're not in that, are you? Me? No. No, it was the one with Chris and Chip. I never really go to game shows. The only game show that I went was, to was the one that got deleted. That one was... <laughs> how did that do? What's the views on? 8.6 8. mil. One. I four. Four. It's actually all right. Over the time. That set's good as well. That's a really cool set. Yeah. Uh, I actually drove past someone. I do it quite often. You know the people who made the first What's Good set in your flat? I drive past them all the time, driving back from home, up from the house to London. Yeah, they're just in a van. Mad. In fact, do you know the name of them? No. Okay. No point saying it then. No. Is there any game shows you want to do that you've not done yet? Catchphrase. Oh. Catchphrase would be sick. Catchphrase has the most to do on the back end though, because you actually have yeah. to make them on things. We've been working on it for ages, but it's just like making it, like we know it's not going to do that well. Yeah, it's a shame. What is this one called, by the way? Because you have done the chase before. Uh, the beta version. I don't know, because this is obviously, I mean, it's not out yet. 
it's out. Yeah. By the time we're by the time this is out, it's out. But we've actually used the studio, so I don't know what the because you can't call it the chase then, then right? Or can I you? I don't know. It is literally their studio. They had filmed. True. They had filmed three episodes just before us. <laughs> nice, nice. So halfway through, actually, the video, uh, Stephen's talking to Harry and Ethan while they're standing in front of Vic. Bradley Walsh just walks out. Mad. And he just goes, what are you doing here? Mad. Does he do a cartwheel? No. All right. Isn't he like 60? He could, but he could do that. Did he, did he uh, was he macked up and stuff? Yeah. Sick. But he walks out, but we didn't, like, we didn't know Not it planned. was Toby, Toby and Vic's, maybe it was just Toby's video, but um, he wasn't planned to come out. Mad. He just did. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he just walks out and goes, what are you doing here? And so has a little conversation, walks off. And then he just sat and watched the whole show backstage. Unreal. And like, he didn't need to stay, but he yeah. was just like, this is jokes. I think uh, Freezer mentioned that he went, when they did the pro-am or something. Yeah. Or he did some sort of golf and he was just chatting to him in the bar for like, till like 4am. Yeah. And then they, apparently they drank too much. No, you, you put it in the video so I can say this. They drank way too much and then they were both just hung over the next day <laughs> playing golf. He seems like a cool guy. He was he was really nice to be fair. Like he what's was really. His, what's his name again? Bradley Brad, Walsh. Bradley Walsh. So he got a son. John took a photo. I did, yeah, I, I had to. I watched it. Yeah. It's just such a John thing to do, man. He's such a, he's a cool guy. No, I'm joking. I want to remember I'm, my I'm, life. I'm joking. Barney Walsh? All right. Uh, that, that, that's, that's not him, Nick. No, no, but I'm saying he's got a son, so maybe. Oh, that's why sorry. Like, oh, yeah, we did a, we did a video. He, he likes Gladiators. Oh, he's in Gladiators. I'm so well, sorry. That's, a good, that's a good game show. Is that a game show? Get, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gladiators is also in the works. Nice. Wow, but again, Gladiators, if we're to do it, definitely need to have YouTube Gladiators. Yo. Because if we go against real gladiators, like. So, like Reeve. Yeah, Reeve. Yeah, people Reeve like Reeve. Would be that would be sick. You know what I mean? Like, people that are. We know we can take the piss out of 100%, like Reeve. Yeah. But he is still stronger than us. But, like. Would JJ be a gladiator? Nah, he'd need to be. He's like. Oh. He's one of our people that might win. You should get, like. <laughs> if you get, like, Bradley Martin or something like that, he'd be a good gladiator. He might be a bit too aggressive. Yeah, maybe. He's got the rage. Yeah, he's got a lot of rage. <laughs> uh, apart from that, gladiators, catchphrase. What's the one where you have to guess how many people have said it? That one. Family Pointless. Fortunes. Yeah, that, have you done that one? Like no. four times. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that created the JJ Deji beef. Oh, uh, Randolph was in that one, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I wasn't even involved, mate. I don't, really know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, but honestly, Chase was unreal. Yeah. What did the uh, last videos get out of 10? I was curious. How, how's the video done with the kids and grandparents? Uh, it is... Have you watched it? No, I didn't Sorry, it came out yesterday, man. It is a 9 out of 10 now. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Another, another KSI video. It is a KSI video. Yeah. What was the 10? Uh... The, 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 the compilation. Yeah, the compilation. So pretty, just pretty much just 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, the greatest Sidemen moments, 2023. Yeah, it, it wasn't... It wasn't what we kind of wanted. I'll be honest. Yeah. I'll, like, I've, I've bigged up JJ with the the reset. Yeah. I'll also tear him down. Well, no, because the, the reset means that he has to be accountable now. Yeah. So I, so well, I, it I, starts actually after this video. No, but I'm saying like in general, going forward. So I'm like, in, in, that's a tip. Like, just so you know, you, you're going to have to actually, actually now... You have, you have no, no excuse. excuse yeah. yeah, you have to do it now. So this video, it it was more, I mean, JJ went with, it was his video. We said, you take it, do it. Yep. But we all, I think we all had a different um, outlook on what the video would look like. And yeah. it was very, like, for example, when we did the strangers rank the sidemen or roast the sidemen or whatever, yep. we always had like three couples. So when we said old old people and young people, we thought have like, two or three old couples, two or three kid couples mm -hmm. or whatever. And they all roast us. Cause then you can cut between the questions and you, you can. Know, if one of them isn't that funny, you can cut, cut to the other one, like roasting us. Yeah. And then the other thing we said was we didn't want them to know us. Yeah. And, and the kids knew you. Kids were fans. And then uh, Rose, the uh, grandparent, yeah. the grand grandma, she was the woman that, uh, Mystery box. Harry gave money to in the mystery box, and she was also in our XIX trailer, right? Uh, with Toby, so she knows. So she straight away, when they asked a question about something, she straight away went, "Oh, Toby could never do that. Toby's a lovely boy, like mm. he's so nice." And I was like, "You shouldn't know this. No. Like you should be yeah. just just judging us on what we look like." So Toby Im immediately got 
nice every time. Mm -hmm. She also knew Ethan and she knew Harry. And everyone got, uh, everyone hated on Josh and Vic, right? Well, that was the kids. (laughs) Me, me, like, there was times where she would say, like, there, where Toby's in number three and Josh is number one. She would go, oh, Toby, Toby, swap with number one. Okay. And I'm like, you can't call one Toby and one number one. (laughs) It's meant to be either call them all numbers or true. I will the say, kids, yeah, one hated Josh, one hated Vic. You and Harry are looking good in this video. Oh, I got your put clothing. as a uh, worst looking. What? Yeah, by Rose. Well, well okay, but you got a nice jacket on, Rose. So, yeah. Taste it was rain- so taste funny. Rainbow, though, right? bitch. So, <laughs> so, so um, Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. I just want to admire. Look at you. Yeah, you're, you're in Harry's jackets are sick. So, the grandpa mm. immediately, like, I feel like a lot of old people humor is like, what can I just say about you? They, they, he picked up on the Skittles jacket oh. and every single joke he made about me was about Skittles. <laughs> JJ comes up to me at the end and he's like, off camera, he's like, you're never going to wear that jacket again, are you? And I'm like, why? <laughs> he's like, because you got roasted for it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but for a video and by an old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, this isn't my target audience. I, I wore a hoodie like twice for like troops meals or something back in the day. It's like, like before, even before Harper was born and JJ was like uh, bro have you only got one hoodie or something <laughs> so actually I haven't he's actually made me stop wearing that but now I lost weight I look good in it again so I'm fucking wearing it <laughs> well yeah the grandpa made one really good joke at JJ because he was say? wearing 165th floor oh he's like 165th floor he's tried jumping off one <laughs> that's true uh, it's just so like it's so random that is jokes but yeah uh, video was like there's definitely a hilarious moments in it mm. but I don't think it was what we kind of set sure. out for it to be mm. but yeah you live and you learn you do live and you learn you do um speaking of new tech news yep no one was speaking of that no, but, no uh, one was. the new <laughs> <laughs> the new uh vr headset from apple is out yes but they don't call it vr actually they call it like it's because it's not ar uh, augmented reality no, yeah but they don't call it they call it like what google it does it say on here what it actually call it because they call it their own thing i think it's no, no, no. It's like AR. It's, it is AR, but it's like I was gonna say, wait. altered reality or something like that. They, they use their own augmented term. I was going to um, say, it's not virtual reality at all. No, but it, you can, it can be. It can yeah, be. Yeah, it can be. It can, you can still do the actual virtual stuff. But it is if you, no, it, come on. It is a VR headset, but like they, the big part about theirs is like, like you can use it in, you know, in daily life. You can walk around with it. You can look at each other with it, you know, and stuff pops up. But it looks, I've seen twi- clips on Twitter and it's looking sick. It does look sick. Like the fact that I saw someone on a flight, right? And they had their laptop because you use the keyboard on a laptop. I'm hoping you can just collect a normal keyboard to it. So you don't have to have your laptop there. But he's on a plane. He's got his laptop here like down, with the lid, lid down. Um, he's got all his space, he's got his tray table available still. And he's just got like a movie right here. So he can look up and see a movie. And he's got his emails there, he's got his like work down there and on, on a flight. That's, that's so, so so sick, man. You know, and you can still see the flight attendants and stuff. Apparently, you, you do look really weird in it, though. Like they were kind of like marketing they look like it. drunk goggles. Yeah, they were marketing it as if you can like, actually like talk to people and people will not notice you've got a headset on, but you do. You got oh, you, yeah. you big purple fucking <laughs> yeah. bloodshot eyes, you know. But I think the apps are gonna look sick as well. Like so far, the apps are quite basic. But if you think about how the iPhone went from like the drinking the beer app, you know, at the start, doodle jump and stuff, to get yeah. to where it is now. Like obviously, in the future, the apps are going to be crazy. I think they just need to make it way less hassle to wear. Because yeah. I know it's actually just simple as, you know, put it on. But you don't want to wear that for more than... No. Like a, a MetaQuest, for example. I don't want to wear that for more than like an hour. Yeah, no, literally. It's long. Well, that's why everyone's complaining about the battery life. But again, like you don't really want to wear that for too long. However, I will say, compared to the MetaQuest and this one, it does seem like this one is more one that you can wear outside and stuff. Not that you'd want to, but the MetaQuest, I just wear it... I would wear mine in my room. And I would never leave my room. And also, actually, it gives you it gives you a box. You know that the VR gives you a box. It's like yeah. the Meta Quest. It's like don't leave this box. Whereas this one, I guess you can just. Well, this one. So I I think on the Meta Quest, even though it you can still see what's around you, mm. I think it's like slightly delayed or like slightly it doesn't pick up certain things or something. Okay. I think they were saying that yeah they were saying the spatial sense on the uh, Apple One is unreal. Like they were showing you it showed you a graph of like the shapes and the the lines of where it saw things in your room. So it'll, you know, your sofa and stuff, it, it really knows where everything is. Like you can leave stuff. You don't want to put in the chat yesterday where you can leave something on your fridge, walk around your house yeah. and come back and it'll still be on there. Yeah. So this guy had like a video on the top of his cooker and I think you can leave it there. So if you want to look like, when you like Gordon Ramsay cooking instruction, you can leave it there and you can leave a note on your fridge. Fucking mental, that's mental. That, that is sick. Well, I think, so the difference is, I think this is based on like when he's looking there, mm. he's looking through glass with something on the glass, right? Yeah. 
I think that's how it is. Whereas like something like the MetaQuest, you are when you're looking through, you're looking through a camera yeah, on yeah. it. It's black, yeah. yeah. So the like the ability to walk around with it is always gonna be And worse. that's video. That's video from the the actual quality of the video looks good. Right? So as the, the people once you have these, right? When they are comfortable to walk around in and you can walk around all day, you don't need any screens in your house. Like no. your house is going to be so minimal. You don't need it, yeah. Well, someone, yeah, you can, you put you put the screen up there. Hold on, just, put, just pause that video and go down a bit. I want to see how many views it's got. Three point seven mil. That by the way, that title is so good. Like the thing no one will say about Apple because apparently negative. Have you titles, watched this video? No, no. Have you? No, I've, no, I've watched it. Yeah. Have you? It's pretty good. What is the thing that no one will say? Okay, well, sorry for stealing it from his video, but he 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 admits that he forgets like he's that he's wearing it fundamentally. He he's, he's essentially. He says that he felt like it was reality. Like he felt like it was a part of him because he, he was in it all day. Mad. Yeah. I think it's going to be huge because if you remember when the iPhone first came out, people were making fun of it. Like I remember like people were actually like laughing at it. Like it's a stupid, it's got no keyboard, you know. And, and, and right now it feels like the, the same thing. People are saying like, oh, you know, you wouldn't walk around that all day. But the thing is, the iPhone got better and better. It got smaller and smaller. Well, and then, then bigger. But like this is going to get smaller, right? So at one point you probably will estimate and make the prediction this that doesn't, I don't think this hits truly for like decades until they can put it in bloody um, what they call contact lenses they will, yeah, so contact they, lenses would be nuts but they will do that but even glasses would be good well they've already figured out how to charge smart contact lenses already that's what but even if those. these were just glasses yeah perfect yeah 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 because yeah. like I could wear glasses for a day even that by the way I know it's crazy but even that isn't that, that bad to wear it's not that bad it's just how much it, it's purely because of I am only basing things on the MetaQuest. Yes, and the MetaQuest yes. is comfortable, but it pushes in. Yeah, no, sure. So, like, you take it off after a few hours and you are like, oh, my God. I've yeah. And the one bad thing that MKVHD and everyone has been saying about this is that it's really heavy. They're saying it is heavy. But I fucking look at that. Also, if you're talking to someone like that, you have no idea if they're even, like, looking at you, listening. Yeah, so you yeah. can see their eyes. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't know what their eyes are seeing. True. 20 mil, by the way, on his video. How soon can I get one of these? Okay. Did you not check the the Vizlink thingy? Well, he's just got a address. Okay. But I wanna I wanna live twenty four hours in one. Yeah, you should. Twenty four hours in these. I, mate, if it, I think you could get one if we if we just go on your Instagram, anyone flying back from America today, and we could just get someone. Well, I've heard America. someone else has done that already. Yeah. Yeah. You can I'm, just buy, the thing is you can just buy stuff like even like, like Japan. I buy, things, I, buy, I buy things from Japan, deliver to deliver to Japan address, and the next day it comes to the UK. Just do a foreign address. We'd be here tomorrow. If if. I want one. If the for well, sale, we we get you one. It just depends how much you're going to spend. I, I have one that I could get you, but you'd have to spend a lot of money. All right. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, like okay. StockX right. has them. Or like yeah. eBay. eBay has them for sure. Yeah. eBay, eBay but I don't trust them. eBay. Why? Like I trust eBay, but I don't trust eBay. I what? Something like that, don't trust eBay. No, you're but, telling me like something that's like £100, £200, I trust eBay. No, but wait, can... wait. Do you, do you want it fully fresh new? If possible. Yeah. Well, I don't box. want it like someone's crusty skin flakes on it. Okay. <laughs> e e eBay is no matter what, how much you can trust it. I've I've bought like ten grand cards on eBay. Yeah. I bought eleven grand binder on eBay. If they got good ratings. Also, adoption might take a while because they're three K. Even the iPhones when they came out weren't three K. Yeah, but you gotta remember, like people. I don't know. Money is. I know, but like people have money these days. But also, iPhones are not. Everyone had a phone. Yeah. Yeah, everyone already had a phone. Oh, you, two you, you, you two are haters, man. You it's like haters right now. I think now. it's cool. I want one. But I don't I don't know. Want it's one. like, oh, I hate you. Nick, you're younger than guys, man. Like, bro, because the thing is, what's weird about it right now, because by the way, you know these videos that are on socials, I look at this guy walking down the street, 100% fake. I'm putting my money down and saying they're fake. You well, know, you know, he's just walking yeah, around with people, it on. People go, oh my God, this is not a joke. Look at this. Yeah, and they're walking down the street doing shit. Yeah. You know, I'm like, these are so fake. Yeah. It's so like engineered, man. Have you seen Zach Allsop doing it? Yeah. He, he's yeah. with his robot dog. There's one. Yeah, these are all fake, man. All well, of them are fake. Apparently, you can't type with two hands. So this guy's just trolling everybody. Of course. Bro, it's so obvious. These days, people trick each other. I'm getting tricked on social media as well on TikTok now. I don't know what's fake or not, but these are fake. Uh, show show the, the Zach Allsop one, because I think his clip is like probably... Uh, but, but do you think it's real or fake? Uh, uh, I, well, I can, you can see in it. I don't know what he's seeing for his... Um, the Pro Max is. It's on um, Instagram. No, that'd, be, that'd, be, um, that'd be fake, of course. Like, yeah. he, he, but he's he's controlling his robot dog with the control in it, so he's just wearing the Maxes while doing it. And there's people like seeing it, and they're just taking pictures and stuff. He's walking around in the street in it. I th I'm saying it's weird because people don't actually like. It's not normal to wear them yet. Yeah. But at one point, when it becomes normal to wear them, I think everyone would, would be wearing them. You know, like if if all five of us. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying I don't want a reality where all five of us are like in here wearing them right now. <laughs> but like, there'll be periods where people will wear them, and you're not you're not looking at them thinking, "Oh, that weirdo," you know. 
Uh, but I was, I mean, Freeze, Freeze was saying that he wants to get the version two, and that's what I was saying for a long time. But like, now I'm seeing all these these videos and apps. I'm yeah. thinking it actually looks pretty sick. I'm gonna start getting cussed by Ethan for that. <laughs> I was like, no, his point was the fact that like you can, um, you can. Oh, this. But I don't get it. No, but that's the spectacle, isn't it? It's like that's what people are seeing. Like people, someone walking around with like a Boston Dynamics robot and the Apple Vision thing. I think this was like already two days ago. This kind of says what Randy says, though. He's not essentially doing anything in the Pro Maxes. People are just. I oh, know he knows that. Is the dog that. even real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've got that. That's the one you have in your, in, the, in your house. I yeah, don't want one of them. Yeah, he did the video where he, <laughs> he, he put that dog through Crufts uh, or, okay. or, or a dog show, you know. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, what were we just saying? Oh yeah, I said how I said in the chat like because I was like, yeah, I'll buy it. I wouldn't normally, I wouldn't buy this first one. Yeah, I'd wait until it's a bit better. And I was like, oh, I'll buy it because I can, you know, make a video on it and I'll lend it back. It's like calm. And then Freezy and JJ were like, yeah, I'll wait for the second one. And then Ethan was like, yeah, Simon's stressing about making the money back. I was no, like, no, what? His, his point was that like you don't need to make the money back from a video to justify buying it. You could buy it and you'd be fine. You well, say you send your breaded. That's how I maintain money. No, 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 no that's, <laughs> that, is, that is really good. But that, yeah, he, he wasn't coming at you. He was just saying like, you know. No, no, no. You know. Anyway, um, I'm so, looking forward to those. Yeah, I'm, how, I, would you, sorry, cool. how would you do 24 hours in them? Can you plug them into a wall? Battery or? packs. Oh, you'd have to just buy loads of battery packs. Yeah. Okay, that might be hard on just getting. Well, you get like four battery packs and you charge the others while you're using one. Yeah, sure. Even two. It would last because you would. Can it charge? It would charge off the battery pack, not just remain, right? How many battery packs does it come with? I don't know. But you can plug it into the wall, right? Yeah, it's so easy. Just, just buy them. Yeah, just buy them. You also like it's America. It's not like it's like. Yeah, you can buy stuff and then get it from America. It's fine. What do you think the future will be like in ten years? Not just technology, but in general. Because uh, I think it's going to go really fast. Because the first person within the Neuralink's been done now, right? They've got yeah. a fully, a fully inserted chip. So. Have we seen anything of it? I don't, no, no, I don't think so. I think it's like a early stages, but the Neuralink is good. Because also, that's what, what the, the main purpose of the Neuralink is that people who like, have lost limbs can have the feeling of their limbs back. You know? yeah. They're not actually going to get like an arm again, but they're going to have the feeling of, the, of them doing it. So they, they, can like, they can think about writing and it'll write. Stuff like, oh, on a phone and stuff. But if you combine that, what we've just seen, the Apple Vision Pro with like, the Neuralink, you know, and, well, and how went, fast the iPhone went. I was going to say, I also got, uh, I keep getting into stories of like the car that's like a helicopter car. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you've seen that. I yeah, don't know so if it's that, real or not. But. That's, a, that's a troll. That's like a cop out there, right? What do you mean? Well, it's a flying car. Yeah, but it doesn't really fly. Yeah, it, it, it's a car that drives and then a helicopter comes out the back of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was different to that. Oh. It had like four propellers. Yeah, but it's, it, like, it's a quadcopter. Yeah. But it's I was like, like a big drone with a seat on it. I was like, ultimately, if that's, you know, if that can also drive, it is, it's going the right way. Mm. So I reckon in 10 years time. Oh, you think flying cars? I think flying cars. No, I think we're at the point now where we've got but to- But I don't think flying cars like movies make flying cars where it's like the wheels are yeah. flat. We don't need- And they're like propelling Do we even need floor. flying cars though? That, I think that's one, that's one where like we were in, back in the day everyone's like oh my god cars could fly but now we're like do we even want flying cars why would you need a flying car because you would be able to get everywhere quicker but in the sky it's just going to be full of full of flying cars but so you're, 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 you're going to get sky traffic <laughs> but you would have like the difference in for example okay say I want to go from west to east London right mm. you can't you can't go as the crow flies you have to yeah. go along the roads sure but I, okay yeah so then if you're going like in the air, you could go straight because you could go over everything. And I know you're saying, oh, but then there's traffic of everyone going there, but you can also go 10 meters higher. Mm. You can go 10 meters higher. There's so many different routes, whereas the road is just like one route. Yeah, but don't you think, I, I think it would be less of like flying cars because they only, why would you need, more like a jumpsuit, more like a jetpack jumpsuit kind of thing. So I'd say that's more dangerous. That sounds way too dangerous. What the, what the fuck? Well, and it's car. not, and as well, like I'm, about, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about danger. I'm talking about like efficiency. Like, wow, like a car has like five people, right? So imagine, imagine the weight to get to fly. It's crazy. You'd rather just be able to like take the body weight and get somewhere. Yeah, but then it, you'd have to like. Have you seen the jetpack guys? I was have gonna say it? everyone have to learn how to do that, which sounds way more technical than like up, down, forward, right, left. 
No, I'm saying you have that. Con- no, you'd have that control for yourself. All, Bro, all the people who use jetpacks. Well, jet I'm not talking about jetpacks. I'm talking about like, a thing that can fly. Like, you've got a, a car. You have to. You have to fly the car like a helicopter. You can't. Just, you're not just gonna drive it like. Mm. Pretty much. No, because you can't. No, no. Because you're driving. You have got wheels that go on the road, so you can turn. Yeah, the but wheel. you would have literally like, you'd have an accelerator, a brake, and then you just have one extra pedal that's up down, and that's it. And realistically, if you're going somewhere, it would be up. Then it's no, a normal no, 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 car no, no, until no, 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 you're no, where no, you are. No, 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 no. But now we're just chatting about like things that aren't real. You can't. Like, <laughs> you said what's it going to be like in ten years? <laughs> yeah, but, no, no. But I'm, I'm, I'm talking about in ten years, really. Like I'm talking about. I, what, what, I think that will be a thing. No, I don't no, think no, flying no, cars but, are going to yeah, be. Yeah, like, yeah. But then I'm, so flying cars cool. But I'm saying like you can't just go into the air and drive as you would on the floor. You, it's now you're in the air now. It's like yeah. a helicopter. So you have, you would have to fly. You could gotten glide and stuff. You can't just go wheel accelerator. It doesn't well, work like that. No, you're not no, but when I say accelerate, I'm not saying like that means the wheels start turning. I'm saying accelerate is like tilting the car forward so yeah. you start going forward. Yeah, but it would be hard to like drive a little. No, no, it'd be more automated at that point as well, though. Yeah, because all like this, all these flying cars would have to be on the same network because then you could avoid them all crashing into each other. You couldn't have like independent cars not connected to each other. We would, yeah, each other okay, off. but okay, but I think that's okay. In ten years, that will happen. I we, think it will. We don't even have like. Even like even Teslas don't even talk to each other. Like I think there'll be a few. I don't think it will all be. Oh no, of course, no, 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 no. But I think you'll be able to. It'll be like car services. Is there'll be like one company that have those. I think I think someone will, someone will do it. Someone will make them. But I don't, I don't think we can ever like actually have like society up in the air like that. Not Could, everyone. Yeah, no. I'm okay, not saying. Sure. And when I say that, I don't mean like the rich will be in the air. I okay. mean like you'll have certain like services that will take you. Up in the air, no, like yeah, of that. course, of course, and then that'll also free up the roads. Yeah, services for sure, like 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 the tunnel that like Elon made, like a sky tunnel yeah. type shit. But uh, I, I, I I wouldn't trust like the average person to drive in the air. That's no, mental, no, no. That's mental. But as like, he said, like it would be all on the same system, like Teslas, for example. But they're not there right now. No, they're not. Okay. But okay, well, in ten years, <laughs> what do you think actually will happen in terms of like how will society look? Because that's that, that's the. I think I think everyone will be wearing glasses at least. I think so. Yeah. Of those, yeah, like that, but way further in mm, the future mm. but i think it'll be down to like glasses wise mm. so so this excites you that the glasses excites you like the augmented reality but like ai doesn't excite you yeah okay what if you combine them P- uh, paint a picture okay so you got the okay so in 10 years you got the vision pro but yeah. now it's a small little glasses thing so yeah. it's comfortable to wear and everyone's wearing them it's not intrusive anymore loads of battery life so instead of like having and you see that apps can make things handy you know so you can have apps that will like you can put you can put a map on this. You can have Google Maps in your eyes. You can walk around, like cut a left, cut, cut a yeah. right and stuff. Imagine having all those services like that, but it's AI now as well. So it's like, it's knowing where you need to go before you need to know where to go. You know, it's giving you conversations. So as you, you got the glasses in, right? And it's telling you, you, you're speaking German and I can understand you right there and then because I'm, you know, the the, the glasses are recording your, in real time, are translating your language into my language. So you could go around the world and talk to everybody else. You could, uh, walk around and yeah you just have like, all this information so you'd be like a super genius but everyone would be super genius which would be yeah, so weird don't like that but it's, it's what's gonna happen yeah don't have, don't have to like it though ai is already I'm not uh, gonna th- be able to stop it but yeah 4.5 is coming out soon and then 5 is gonna be coming out this year as well i think or next year and then uh AG, agi is gonna be which is a uh, what is it google agi i'm not sure what the actual definition of it is but i think it's essentially um oh yeah artificial general intelligence yeah so it's like not conscious, but like it could join, it can just, it's just, it's like, it's like the peak of the AI. Like real time, you know. Would you ever get one of these instead of what a is that? These are stupid, I've been trying man. to figure out what they, that is. They're not, they're not stupid, but like, it's just like, it, essentially it's Siri. Essentially okay. it's Siri, but it's a good Siri. But with AI, yeah. It's, it's you your mean? phone, but instead of your phone typing everything, you can just Yeah, so instead, instead of like, you know, opening the maps, you, you just say to it, open maps, or you ask it a question and oh. it'll do it. But it's it means that, it's half the size of a phone, so it's really tiny. But that means I can't like type anything. Yeah, it's got a keyboard on it. Oh, but it's not. It's it's, it's more of like a. It's cool, but it's more of a. It's two hundred dollars. It's quite cheap in terms of compared to like an actual phone. Uh, it's got a SIM card slot. You can call on it. You can text on it. I, I, a lot of people were wondering why not just make this an app. This could this could be an app. I think it's like a, I think it's an AI company that is showing off their technology with AI and putting it in a hardware device. But I think also at some point someone will just buy this company and then put it into Samsung or put it into iPhone. You know. Yeah. I think iPhone are already starting to use GPT as well. I think I heard that somewhere. 
Which would be good. S Siri with AI, actual AI would be great. Because when I'm doing a chat GPT and I'm actually... Because you can do um, voice to text and you can tell the AI what you want it to type. That never makes... When I talk, it never makes a mistake ever. So it gets what I say to the T. And even if I like, like laugh... I mean, not that I laughed at AI, but like if I laughed, it would like capture that, you know? Well, yeah. so they want, they want if, that was in, if that was in Siri, it'd be actually really, really sick, you know? Well, they want everyone to have virtual AI PAs, don't they? Everyone's going to have their own PA. I'll book this. I'll put this in the calendar and that will do it. Yeah. That's yeah. what that's what that's supposed to be. That little rabbit thing. It's like your own little PA, rather than necessarily instead of a phone. It's sort of like a, but it can still do all the stuff phones can do. So it's supposed to just be a more easy version. So what happens to Jobs? I don't know. I think Jobs will be fine, but like, it'll it'll evolve though. But you've got we've got to have to stay have to catch up with it. It is gonna be scary though because a lot of stuff will just go. Like a lot of admin jobs, I think, will be gone. Not because you don't need them like even now there's a lot of jobs you don't need i know people who are doing jobs right now and they're just they're, they're happy because they they're using ai to do their job and they're just chilling now i'm happy i i feel like i'm happy i'm at this age mm. and it's where it is mm. they I feel say like, it might lead to a four-day work week as well you know how we got five day yeah. work now it'd be it more likely that it'll end up with a four-day work week so people will have an extra three days but when they be paid less nope because it used to be okay. six day work week, and then it went down okay. to Henry Ford did that. Well, yeah, I'm happy. I'm I'm this age. I felt like if I was a, a kid, I'm like, well, the future ain't gonna be anything like it is now. Mm. And I feel like if I was older, I'd be past the point of being like, I'm not gonna experience it. Yeah. Do you reckon we'll have phones in ten years? Yeah. Okay. Do you? I mean, I think so. Yeah, but I also I think so. Yeah, because. They need to sell they need to make money so i think they'll push it on us still but i i do think how much you do actually need a phone I, th I think we'll need a phone more for entertainment and the joy out of apps and stuff rather than like communication i think communication you don't well, you probably won't need it anymore is there anything you've seen in a tv show film cartoon whatever that you're like i want that by 10 years time or like i want that at some point well, no, but you know the, what is it? The Minority Report, have you ever seen that movie? Yeah. Uh, and in the AO Technology music video with 50 Cent and Tim Lund, you know how he's doing like this, this stuff. That's yeah. kind of real now with the uh, Vision Pro. That's actually what it is. Yeah, true. <laughs> you know, and we've got a table where they're doing stuff. I think movies and stuff always exaggerate too much though. They, they always make it look really cool, but it never actually is that practical. How about you? Are you asking that because you've thought about something? I was thinking of like, you know, when you see uh, people always wear like a bracelet and then they go like, they press a button and something appears in front of them. That's what I want. And they can be like this. They go like they go like this. Press a button, something like a TV will appear, and they can go like cool. And then there's okay. suddenly a TV in front well, of them. Holograms. Yeah, but like it can also stay. It's not a hologram just here. It's like a program. It's basically like imagine you had the Vision Pros in your eyes, and then this is just to simply get whatever you want, and then you can keep it there. And then, you know, like someone's, you're calling me. Mm. Oh, I press the button, your face appears. And then we're having a FaceTime. Sure. And my face is appearing for you. That'd be kind of cool. How do it do that? Would the camera I don't be? know. Yeah. I just always see it in like Futurama. <laughs> <laughs> That'd I'd, be kind of cool. I'd want smart wallpaper. Smart like, wallpaper. Imagine That'd be cool. Imagine if you could just redesign an entire house. No, but you can in the Vision Pro, Nick. No, yeah, but then, but then anyone who comes to your house isn't wearing that. Yeah. If they are in the future, they will see your wallpaper. I mean, yeah. Vision Pros you're going to have just around your gaff. <laughs> No, well, no, it's everyone's going to have one. Everyone has one implanted. But then imagine, right? That would be like, that's quite a good film. Where, it is one. What? Ready Player One. Have you nah, seen that movie? Yeah, I have. No, that's VR, not AR. Yeah. I'm talking, right? Every single person has this thing in their eyes so that they see the same thing. And then one person is born and they don't get it. So then they're walking around <laughs> and, you know, they come into this room and what they see is an entirely empty room. But everyone else true, is like... True, yeah, true. But at that point, AR becomes VR, by the way. Just in, if, everyone's, if everyone's got AR, and, they, what, and then say you've got your house and you pimped it out and your wallpaper is set to your wallpaper, but yeah, it is a white wall. When you walk in, you see hearts on your wall. When I walk in, you set it so I see hearts. Yeah, that would be... That, that's actually... That's not AR. That's just that's, that's R now. Yeah, that's reality. That's just reality. But, but you're then saying I'm saying kid, one person gets born without it. But, they come into this room and it's like the walls are like torn apart yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. But yeah. it doesn't matter because everyone sees the same thing. I, I, I'm not sure we'll, we'll get injected with like Neuralink in that, in that sense. I think we'll, we'll have LV glasses, at least in 10 years. In our lifetime, probably won't get something that's like 
that makes us see things. Yeah. I think Neuralink will be able to look like, like tech. We'll be able to think to our phone, but you know, we won't be able to like. I'm but, talking films anyway. Yeah, you I'm know, talking, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, make yeah, that yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be a sick film. Okay, that's my second film idea. Cool, cool. That's, that's patent, patent pending. 100% OJ, 0% AI. That's, that's cringe, man. <laughs> um, but no, it's int- I, I like it all, man. I mean. Do you think they'd start making things though, like if we all had that? And our, okay, say we all have it in glasses. That's like a. That could be reality, right? We could actually have that where mm. we're all wearing glasses and I want to make the walls in this room have hearts on. Mm. And everyone who comes in here with those glasses will see that. I'm going to have to u- use like a microtransaction to get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's jokes. Also, that's if just... it's Apple, do you reckon that means they'll put adverts and stuff? So you'll walk in a room before you can see the heart wallpaper, you have to watch five seconds. Oh my God. <laughs> no, because Apple don't really do adverts. No, it'd be microtransactions. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'd, have, I'd like have to pay like 49p just to get a couple hearts on the wall yeah <laughs> I'd do it though I'd, I'd really do that you could charge people to come into your house you know like, you're, you're, like, like attraction you can make fun fairs you know or like haunted houses yeah. haunted houses would be sick that'd be that'd be almost like reality yeah but it'd be better because you could like, instead of having these dumb actors that come get you you can actually make like real scary stuff happen <laughs> yeah that's terrifying <laughs> where's the haunted house that's the whole point yeah true but you know it's kind of terrifying yeah we should do one when we, when we both get one we should do a podcast with it what both just wearing them? Yeah, so there's no screen. We just see we just see the notion in our, in the corner of our eyes. Yeah, and that way we can actually look at each other. Yeah, I might just put other. a film here. <laughs> <laughs> I might put another podcast. Put your vlog over this. <laughs> John, oh, John, 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 I'll put fellas. To, like sports, they'll have like certain seats that are for AR things, so you can like put yourself in them. I saw I saw a video of someone watching, like a, I can't remember if it was like a basketball game or an NFL game or something, but they're just sat front row. And they're watching it. Because everyone will just be, you'll be able to live stream really easily, right? If you're sitting watching it. I'd assume so. But they, they did the opposite where they're at home and they're watching the match. But they're watching it from the crowd. Yeah, because Apple, what they did is that you can, uh, the good thing about the Vision Pro things is you can make the screen as big as you want mm. so that you can actually just make it completely massive if you'd like. Make it the whole room yeah. and it feels like you're in the stadium. Yeah, and like, it's cool because someone was sat there, right? And you've got like a film there, then like Twitter there, then every, every, it's just, it's kind of cool, man. I'd like to try it out. It is stupid that it's not in the UK though. Why would they do that to us? We're not animals over here. <laughs> John is, but like the rest of us are pretty calm. Cheers, mate. I was going to ask, what about like the future of another broad topic like sports in ten years? Where are sports in ten years? Does anything change? They make Super the League, Olympics for people on drugs. Oh, are they doing oh, that? Good I wish. segue. Yeah, no, they are. No, they're so making doing that, John. They're making it. Oh, what really? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should do your production job and Google some stuff. You might know that. What? There's a roided out Olympics. The, the creator. Yeah. yeah. The oh. enhanced games. That's so sick. That's not it. But I can't remember who the guy is. Well. Well, how has he been allowed to do this though? How does he's this... a billionaire. He's just creating his league, mate. You can do that. You, UFC is just a business, right? I mean, it is very dangerous. Yeah, because I was wondering, like, my first reaction was, "What's the limit?" Yeah. Yeah, but this all, should be a limit. But all sports are that, like, you know freestyle snowboarding with people doing triple backflips is dangerous letting them do it on yeah roids. but you would hope that the whole point is that they're trained enough that they can do it whereas this isn't a case of training this is a case of just injecting a harmful substance i mean if it's if it's like legalized and formalized people look do. i'm gonna watch it but i'm still gonna say it's dangerous i'm trying to find the actual but what about um, what about technology in sports like var came in for football obviously what could change it would anything change in football in any significant way uh, I mean, I think VAR will become a thing that's so accurate in like 10 years, I'm talking. Mm. It'll become so accurate and instant. Yeah, you'll probably have like lines and we'll probably won't be there anymore. You'll probably be like a little rabbit running around scanning his shit, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, like the fact that they've even now got it so, you know, the ball goes over the line fully, the ref gets alerted. Like even that's been added, even VAR fully. Yeah. I think by that point, by 10 years time, it'll just be a case of like someone's offside the second that offside is called, it just, it stops. Mm. Like maybe the ball just stops. Yeah. I the think ball, also- <laughs> The ball physically just stops. That'd be cool actually. No matter where it yeah, is. Yeah, that'd be sick. Right, so Peter Thiel, it says, Peter Thiel and a group of venture capitalists are funding the Enhanced Games, an Olympic style competition that allows performance enhancing drugs. Events include track and field, swimming and gymnastics, weightlifting, combat sports. The first event will be in 2025. But surely they would have to like have some, like you can't, you know, if you're using steroids, you've got to stop at some point still. Yeah. Otherwise someone would go out of their mind and then just die. Yeah. I mean, the sad part is that's probably the point of the games is like to see who can 
do yeah. the most. But obviously, if someone dies, they're just going to pull it. Yeah. No one's going to fund that. But yeah. 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 I mean, I, mean, it, I it, do want to see what the fastest a human can physically run. That's cool, is. right? Yeah. That is quite cool. And then, and then again, keep it separate. So keep Olympics like. Oh, yeah, 100%. But then, yeah. But then have one where it's like, yeah, someone's like. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be joking. Because even if they're like, even if they've used a stupid amount of steroids or whatever, mm. and they're like, yeah, I ran 100 meters in six seconds. Yeah. I want to see it. See happens, I don't yeah. care. Yeah, like true. you can go, yeah, but he's on steroids. I go, I don't care. He did it. <laughs> Let me watch. Yeah, he did a six seconds, hundred meters. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Yeah. Uh, what about the future of like ten years? Food. How's food different? Oh, I think sadly, food. Well, I don't think it will, but I think there'll definitely be companies out there that you know you got these like nutrition things. You know, so you've got like there's a guy. Have you seen the guy who's on YouTube now, who, the billionaire who's trying to live forever? Search that on. on YouTube, Nick. Oh, so just type in the guy trying to live forever. He's, he's like a billionaire. He's already been outdone, hasn't he? By I don't someone know. spending thirty thousand pounds. Not sure, but he's a. Uh, but anyway, well, I think so what, he's, he's eating food that's like he's, he's, he takes one hundred and fifty tablets a day. Doesn't he? Inject Maybe I have him, seen this guy. He injects himself with his teenage son's blood. Yep. That's weird. Blood transfusions. He has blood, not like yeah, formal. Blood How old is he? He's forty-seven with a biological age of thirty-seven, I think. Like he. I mean, he looks a little bit creepy, but he, well, he looks more. I mean, he looks in very good shape. Part of a thirty-seven-year-old. He looks in very good shape, right? But firstly, he does look like a cyborg. Yeah, he uh, he looks he looks like lizard people. Yeah, yeah. There are photos out there of him before all this, and he looks well. He looks subjectively better, but you know, I'm sure he's really fit. But no, he takes like 150 pills a day, like, and I, I've started taking like supplements like vitamin D and stuff. And then some tablets are actually quite big, and uh, I'm like I'm, I'm I'm struggling to actually swallow them. Whereas this guy literally has 150, pours it into a pot, puts it into his mouth, and just oh, swallows them all. Um, See, my question is though, are like you're you're going to say you're not going to live forever, obviously, but say you're going to live an extra 20 years, you've probably wasted 20 years of your life or more doing this. Mm. Yeah, but I think he actually, he likes it. He likes the lifestyle. Fair. You know, he likes getting up, putting red light on his face, you know, going for a, doing his exercise. I think he's obsessed with it as a concept as well. Well, and he's pushing the business. So it is, is, is the blueprint he calls it. Um, he's going to sell it, you know, so people are going to follow the blueprint. He's a billionaire. And he's probably what if he dives at like 60? Be jokes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It wouldn't be jokes, but like, it'd be, it'd be funny that he's done all this to just die. Uh, or he gets hit by a car or something. Um, wait. He's undergoing therapy using sound waves to help him attempt to achieve the erections of a healthy 18-year-old. Why does he want to know what a healthy 18-year-old's erection's like? <laughs> no, well, no, 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 no. No, his own 18 self erection, uh, you know. Still. I don't think he wants to feel another cock. That's he's using good. sound to get 18-year-olds hard. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah. But no, he's, 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 also, he's killing YouTube, actually. You think he, he hired someone and they were doing all right. They hired a new guy and he's just been killing the videos. So props to him. But what I was saying is the food that he eats is like he's having pills to then supplement actual food. Yeah. And he's, the food he eats is rank. It's like just beans and shit. Like, well, like grains and it, it looks gross. But I'm saying, I think in the future, as John mentioned, a lot of the food will just be... Like you don't have to eat it anymore. You can have like a tablet and that'll give you the nutrients of like a burger. In 10 years? I think so, yeah. Well, no, 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 I don't think it'll be widely adopted. I think it'll be possible. So, you know, what, what do they call it? The, the, the fake burger. It's called something, right? Beyond um, Meat? Beyond Meat or something, yeah. They, 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 like a lab-produced burger. I think that'll yeah. exist. And, but also, I think it'll exist in like pill form. But you st like, we still want to eat. We eat socially as well, right? Like, we want to eat for fun. Yeah. You don't just eat just to... I'm saying in 10 years, you don't have to eat... To sustain yourself, you can just eat tablets and shit. But I think we will still want to have, you know, go to freaking Nando's and stuff. How how vegan do you think the world will be? Or veggie do you think the world will be? Not in terms of like, oh, people, as in like real meat. Oh, oh, that's what you mean. Because um, like you, you'll, no doubt in 10 years, you'll be able to go probably get a steak that tastes like yeah. a steak that isn't meat. Because to be fair, I know a lot of us who do eat meat are like, yeah, like I, I want steak, Arr, you know, and there's a lot of people like that out there. But I, I do think as well, at the, same, at the same time, if you could, if it was the same taste, same nutrients, yeah, you would choose the You would choose the fake, yeah. yeah. I think everyone would say like, let's not kill a cow. We don't have to, you know. Well, it depends. What are you talking about? Are you talking about creating in, uh, plant infusions that taste like meat or are you talking about lab-grown meat? Because there's two different things there. Because lab-grown meat, I think some vegans even are against because it's like comes off of animal proteins to make it a lot of it. Um, so like, imagine like a synthetic animal kind of. Yeah, I don't. What do you mean, like, what, like grow a fake cow to then kill yeah, that cow? So that's what these are. These are sort of it's the meat of a cow that almost effectively they've grown. 
So imagine growing a cow from a petri dish. But is no that brain, cow no augers. not alive? No. No. So just the cow's never it. alive. Yeah. It no. Starts, it starts in a liquid form like that. Yeah. Like just the growing the live grow. tissue of a cow without the cow ever having a brain or anything. I mean, if that's going to stop the cows being killed, and everyone still gets to eat the meat that they want to eat, it's kind of a win-win for everyone, right? Yes. Yeah, but they're probably. There's definitely say, like, something I'm missing. That's you're extracting the juice from the cow still. But it's better than. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Cow- I'm not saying it's the final solution. Mm. But if that's a, is yeah, that like, not a better solution? I don't solution want cows than- to die, but if they, you know. Yeah, but like for example, me and me and Nick went to a restaurant where they were like, "Oh, we have a, there's a watermelon steak." <laughs> yeah. And they were like, their whole thing was it, it literally looks and tastes like steak. We someone ordered it. And it did look like a steak. It did not taste like steak. It's made from a watermelon. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, it... You kind of bite into it thinking like, oh, it looks kind of like a steak. Like I'm expecting at least some... A little bit. It was gross. Well, vi- visual does play a point, right? I think vi- if you're picking something up with your fork and put it in your mouth, you can almost taste it before you actually taste it. What, did you have a steak at the restaurant? Yes. It's pretty good. That was, that was nice. Yeah, that was good. decent. Yeah. Well, speaking of cows, yeah, we are going to today create our starting eleven sure. football team. Okay, with animals. Okay, would you stick a cow in there? Would I have a cow in there? I don't think I would. No, I wouldn't. I might, but you can't just ask me like randomly. You know, we've no, got, we got to work our yeah. way through. Yeah. All right. So the, the so goal we- today, guys, we're creating a football eleven aside team. You know, so goalkeeper, then obviously ten outfield players. We're, we're going to choose each position. To be, you know, certain animals. Should we do it together or yours and mine? I think we go me v you. Sure. But are we doing it as a draft system where you can't pick any animal I pick? Oh my god! I think we should Loki have be able to pick anything. Yeah. We can pick the same one. Yeah. Okay. But we'll see who's who. Do you think would win? Okay. 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 So, in goal, what are you thinking? In goal, I would honestly go for something like a monkey. Because I think monkeys can use their arms quite well. That's literally what I was going to say. You still choose one. But which okay. monkey would you go for? Like, like a gorilla is a bit too much. No, I wouldn't go a gorilla. I would literally go bog standard monkey. What is that? Do they exist? I'd go with a chimp. Could hold you, on, hold on, hold on. Could hold you on, not on. just put an elephant so it covers the goal? Slow. Yeah, but it's, it, 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 it's the size of a goal. No, so, bro. No, no, no. I hit it low in the bottom corner. Also, it's not also, safe, let, let, let's not be like that, John. Let's not be like. Let's like have a bit of like. Yeah. Okay, I'll choose eleven elephants and they'll cover the field. <laughs> I mean, they would. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, I, I want to know: is a monkey can you, a thing? Can you get a picture of like? Can you get pictures of types of monkeys? Do you want a chimpanzee or a monkey? There's We're gonna find that out. I want to see what they look like. But is there a monkey? Do you know what I mean? Is monkey a thing or is it a type of thing? Type. Okay. So, you, so a monkey doesn't exist. You can't. There's loads sh- of different ones. Yeah. I want. I want a chimp, but yeah. I want to see. I want to see one. Type in types of chimps, man. I, I, like a big monkeys. Type of type types of big monkeys. Apes. I don't want an ape though. Nah, I think we do. You want like an agile you ape? You go for that. I'm going for it. Like a Planet of the Apes. Sick movie. They'd be classing goal. What about a gorilla? That's an. That's a too big. I think gorilla's too big. Cause like they're a bit slow. Oh, they I'm, go- I'm going for a chimp. I'm going for a chimp. Chimps are apes, yeah. I'm okay, going for a chimp. Chimps are apes. I'm going to go. No, that's a traditional ape. What are you going for? I'm, I'll go orangutan then. Okay. Or a gibbon. A oh gibbon. my god, long arms. Look at that arms on that gibbon. That's a shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but I'll, I'll stick with mine. Yeah, I'll yeah, stick yeah. with my chimp. I'm, I'm going gibbon. All right. An Eastern gibbon in gold. An <laughs> Eastern gibbon. For a big one, a big gibbon. Okay. Oh my god, look at that. Center backs. Or oh, you want to go right back first? No, it's centre backs. Okay, centre backs. So we have two centre backs. Yeah. Uh oh, I've got I know my centre mids. Do you? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I, I'm not by the way, I'm not sure I can even name eleven animals. So I'm actually cool here. <laughs> centre back. I want I want an elephant. Okay. I want one elephant. Sure. Because I feel like you need that you need that like yeah, brick shit house. Yeah, that's strength. just gonna sure. it's also gonna lead it, you know. Mm. And then I'm also gonna have a lion. A centre back. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Centre back for me then. Let me think. Real I feel quick. like that's a good pairing. You know, that's like centre a John and Terry and a. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then well, I'm gonna go giraffe centre back. That's like a John Terry and a Saliba. Yeah. Yeah. V- Virgil Van Dijk is very. Oh, you said giraffe. Yeah, giraffe. Oh, yeah. That's a shout. Long neck, head, head, head everything. Okay. Like Peter Crouch back oh, there. I want to change my mind actually no. to a giraffe, but I can't. No. No. I'm gonna go giraffe, and then I'm gonna go alpaca. <laughs> okay. Two long necks. Can I can I change to a giraffe because you'll see why. 
Sure. I thought you're not allowed to choose the same as the other team. I thought. No, we are. No, we said we should do draft. Yeah. We're not gonna. Instead of who? Because uh, I want to put the I want to put a giraffe instead of a lion, because I want my right and left back to be a lion and a tiger. Oh, okay. Okay. You see my logic there. I do see your logic. I'm not gonna go with it, but I see your logic. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go. Yeah, so alpaca, and also I think alpacas. Are they, no, actually, what's worse? Like a, what's the other alpaca thing? Llama. 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 Llama or alpaca, which one's more nasty? I think it's llama. I think a llama is, right? I think they both spit a lot. You know, I'm actually, I'm actually my- You're my, choosing a dirty team. Of course, centre back, yeah. I want, I want, I want, You've got some like Joey Barton in, in centre back. Uh, uh, there we go, what, which one? Okay. You want a llama. I want a llama, yeah, yeah llama. I'm, but don't worry, I'm still gonna go alpaca somewhere in this. Llama, okay. centre back uh, with a giraffe. Right back and left back, I'm going to go Leopard and Cheetah. Smart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've done me there. Yeah, have, you've yeah. done me there. You're going you you <laughs> Lion and Tiger. tiger. A bit too slow. I've got a bit more heart, though. Give yeah, me more heart, you yeah. you got speed. Yeah. 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 But I'm going to put them then. Oh, let's do centre mids then. Okay, centre mid. I'm going Lion and Tiger. Cent no, no, I'm going... Hmm. So I've gone Cheetah, Leopard. I'm going to go... I don't know what i got. Lion... Tiger, yeah, Lion Tiger is my centre mid pairing. Okay. They, they seem, seem more skillful on the ball. Lions no, do. I hear that. I hear that. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna go? Four cats so far. Yeah, I want. Cat, cat, uh, could, we my, can do that, right? We can. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Uh, my centre mids. I want a wolf. Wow. And a horse. Okay. Wow. Horse midfield. Bro, engine. Yeah, I know, but yeah. That engine is winning the game. Yeah. And the wolf is the skillful one. Yeah, could be and quite nasty. Bruno Fernandez sounds like a little bit, a bit of a wolf. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, Bernardo Silva, he's more yeah. of like a pussy cat. We're we just choosing people that got like beards. <laughs> uh, right mid, I'll put a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the cheetah. Mm. Right mid, cheetah. Okay. Left, okay. In, uh, left mid. Oh. Is it weird if I go for like a penguin? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Penguins seem shitful. <laughs> oh, can you go fish? Yeah. Okay. But it wouldn't do well on a pitch. <laughs> but you could have its own little. How would it run? You could have its own little water in that area. Okay. Just <laughs> sure if you want it. Okay. Uh, so right wing, I'm gonna go. I think right wing, I'm gonna go hyena. Okay. Seems like just a prick. Okay. You know, and then Bates left fouls and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's the Jack Grealish right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Left wing, I'm gonna go Dolphin. Okay, <laughs> just seems really, really good on the ball. <laughs> and smart player as well. Oh, Nick's put Adam Lalama. Adam Lalama. That's quite funny actually. He didn't good. even put Lalama. He just put Lama. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, true, true. Um, Wait, then we, have the you two been forwards. putting his in? Is this my? Yeah, I'm doing it on a different one that looks better. Okay. Okay. Wait. So I need my left mid. My so you had it. No, I had cheetah right mid. I said penguin as a joke. Oh yeah, so left sure, mid. Sure. I'm gonna have a. Ooh. I want something. I think I might go for more of like a. What's what's like a big reptile? Um, croc. croc. Not as small than that. One, Faster. No, what's the lizard called? The really quick one. Komodo yeah. Dragon. Monitor lizard. Like a komodo dragon. Is that really fast? No, komodo no. dragons are quite. Slow. What's the one I'm? You know the one I'm thinking of. Like a really. It's like that. Kind of lizard, but fast. A raptor. A monitor lizard. A what? A monitor lizard. Monitor lizard? Yeah, they're quite a fairly big. Let's see one. How do you spell monitor lizard? They're the ones with the... Ooh. Now, what's the vicious one? What's the one that could, like, kill everyone? What? Komodo dragon. Is that that? Honey badger. I'm going to put a honey badger left uh, mid. Uh, a badger now. Yeah. It's not an insect. Not a lizard. No, I just call, call called a... completely changed my mind because they're wow. the most. They're like the most dangerous things in the world, aren't they? I think because they're aggression. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna ho honey right. badger. Okay, then we got two strikers. I will go horse for my striker. Ah, I think okay. horse is just a class striker. It's like Darwin Nunes. Okay, you know. Um, ah, oh, my last one. I, don't, I, I, I wouldn't actually play two forwards. I don't think in, in Animal Eleven. I'd just get one. No, put everything. To. Okay, I will. Put everything, <laughs> put everything to the horse, man. Just trick it to the horse. Okay. Who would I pair? Like, nice little... Nice I'm going to put Hyena up front, by the way. That's hyena. My, that's my Richarlison. Yeah, Hyena. Like, he's wow. going to he's gonna annoy them. Sure. And then... Then an ostrich. <laughs> Not a bad shout for a striker, actually. That's pace. That's, that's Darwin good, Nunes. That's a good... Yeah, roadrunner. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's not really. What is Roadrunner? Hold on. What is Roadrunner? Google that right now, Nick. What is what animal is Roadrunner? It's a a bird, isn't it? Yeah. What? I was yeah, like an ostrich, I guess. It's a Roadrunner. Oh. (laughs) No. No. Yeah, there. It's a bird called Roadrunner. Okay. Yeah, and he's called Wiley Coyote. He's literally what he is. True. I'm not having that. That's fucking. Yeah, I'm having an ostrich. I think that's solid, you know. Ostrich is good. Ostrich man. and a hyena, they might kill each other. Fucking hell, ostrich is a shout, man. If you want, you should get a, a cassowary instead of an ostrich. They're, What's that? They're like a, they're like a. Don't um, stop making these jokes. It's not horsel bank. They're oh like a, a more violent uh, ostrich. Uh, but is it? I need to see one. It's got, it's got a bit of flair. Type in cassowary, Nick. C a s s a w a r y. Oh yeah, they're weird. No. It's tiny. They're hardcore, no. mate. I've seen them. They're massive. Trust me. Yeah, but that ain't, that ain't doing what an ostrich does up mate, front. they kill two people a year in Australia. I don't want to kill them. I want to score goals. Fair. That ain't doing what an ostrich does. No. I... Choose a flamingo. Nah, it's going to get bodied off the ball by your fucking... What well, about like a, an alligator or a... Not up front. It's too low to the floor. True. Dribble through legs. Maybe I'll go for the, maybe I'll go for the alpaca. So llama sent it back. Okay, alpaca okay. up front. That's the guaranteed chem. Yeah, guaranteed chem. <laughs> <laughs> That's at least eight chem right there. You, you, you do need chemistry. I'm, I'm, I'm worried the dolphin won't have the same kind of like... I'm surprised there's no bears in either of your teams. Oh, bear. bear well, would be a good, actually, like, you know what I would do with... A, CDM. If I could choose a bear, no, I'd put a bear centre back and put a giraffe up front. Mm, okay, yeah. Instead of nah, my hyena. I think giraffe just... I'd put the giraffe instead of the hyena and then put a bear centre back. Okay. It's a bit of a slow centre back pairing though. Yeah. But a bear can pick up pace. Bears what are bear fast. Would you go for a polar bear? So it's big. Whatever the fastest one is. Bears are really fast, by the way. When they get going though. Do they have instant speed? Probably not as much What's as their that acceleration. Bear? What's their five star skills? <laughs> a grizzly bear, I'd have a grizzly bear. Thirty five mile an hour. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so fast. <laughs> That's so fast. We might need a bigger pitch for all these animals. Well, because my, what my logic is, right? You've got Honey Badger attacking people. You passes it to the cheater. He whips it in. You've got a giraffe winning every header. By the way, anyone out there who's like a game developer, let us know because it'd be a sick game. Yeah. I'd love to play A simulator. Game. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can put any 11 animals into a football team and then another 11 animals and simulate a football match. That's yeah. like if you've seen that horse race simulator and they just put absolutely everything on the, on the track. It can be absolutely anything. No, they, yeah, but I've seen the one, have you seen the one where it's a fight? No. So no. you can have like a thousand Chuck Norris's versus yeah, yeah, 10 yeah. million gods. Yeah. Wait, someone else know, in the, in, if you're watching this, if you like a, let's say like a five to $10 Steam game, yeah. you know, we'll make it with you. And yeah. play on I'll channel. fund it, I'll fund yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'll yeah. do like a five, five series, five, five episode episodes series, on it. yeah. I will take on, I will get some of the biggest YouTubers yeah. that I know, not like PewDiePie, <laughs> and I will do a five-part series where they get to build a team and they have to beat yeah. my team. Yeah. So maybe maybe you're looking at like maybe, maybe like three million views over five videos. That'll get it going. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, I reckon you get Second like, channel. Let's say, let's say yeah, we, two million views. Okay, sure. Two million. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, and then, yeah, you make $10 game, $5 yeah. game, make some money on that. Yeah. Hit yeah. us up. Let us know in our Discord down below. Well, also, uh, as we walked into the studio today, oh, should we, should we review, re- review the teams or? Well, oh, Nick, Nick's just showing us. Hold on, Penguin versus Dinosaur. Oh, this is so soccer. good, man. <laughs> yeah, this is really this. good. Oh, you did see Penguins, to be fair. Yeah, that's what I thought of it. <laughs> um, okay, well, as the three people behind camera. Oh, sure, yeah. Whose team do you think wins? Um, do you know how football works, John? Uh, I'm pretty sure a bunch of lads just hang out, right? <laughs> I've seen they're very, no, yeah, Tom very Garrett. similar. To <laughs> that, is Tom Garrett. that is Tom Garrett. I think Simon's team wins. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's see wait, wait, wait. I think you're the dra- dra- Drag them out and put them next to each other. I think just on the basis that you got a fucking dolphin, then Simon's got to win. You got. Let's use a bit of like imagination. <laughs> a dolphin can play. A dolphin can play, man. I mean, okay. I'm. I'm gonna look at this. Right, I think your, I think your centre backs might have a little. Uh, I think my centre backs uh, out bossing yours. You're not losing headers, mm. giraffey giraffe. But your right and left back pace. Yeah, I'm, don't look like they're gonna have the defence though. True, but that, that's, nah, that's where that's where the uh, yeah. I, I reckon dolphin tracks back though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I reckon dolphin's dead in two seconds. <laughs> 
I think uh, centre mids, yours are going to have more aggression, but mine will have the stamina. I've, I've, got, I've, got, I've got balls. I've got skill there, you know. Lion and Tiger can I think your them. wings are f- f- like flopping right now. Really? Hyena and a dolphin. That's such a good wing. Really? Dolphins are really intelligent. Yeah, but... You, and by, by the way, a dolphin could definitely like dribble really well. I think it would just do spins like Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah. Call, do not come for Dolphin, even, even it, out of water, is going to be a better player than Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that. I don't um, know. Okay, let us know in the comments, guys, who, which team wins. Two good teams. I think we both did well there. We you did know quite what? Well. Even better than that, give us a brief summary of how the match plays out. Okay. Like, yeah. Give us like a two-line summary of how the match plays out. Like who's man of the match? Who does what? What's the score? I'm going to put these teams into AI and see what AI will give us in a okay. bit, in a little bit. Okay. Um, but yeah, no. So Nick walks into the studio today and he's wearing a... What's the team, Nick? Vancouver Canucks. Vancouver, Vancouver Canucks. You're, you're a Canuck, mate. Um, well, like, a, like a cook. Like well, a cook. Sorry. Uh, anyway, um, and he's like, isn't this the best logo you've ever seen? <laughs> and like me and Simon, like, as much as I wanted to say yes... It's just so not the best logo yeah. I've seen. So can you, before you pull up the tier list, can you, put, can you show us the logo on the screen? No, I a, uh, we won't do a whole tier list on it. No, no. All we're, all we're going to do is say, is this logo better than Nick's? You know what I mean? Yeah, yes, no. Okay, okay, okay. Really fast. That's their, it's, it's their like old school logo. I prefer the other one. The new one? Yeah. I think the old one, I don't know. The old one looks better there. On the, on the jumper you're wearing it on, I That's can't read it. One. I, I get that it's like uh, it's an ice skate with like the Canucks as the blade. Cool, but right now pull up the rest of the league, and me and Sam will say yes or no. Is the logo better than what you're currently wearing? You had it up now. I thought you had it up. I did. I go over it because you might not be able to tell what teams are what. We don't, oh, need don't to. We're, we're just doing the logos. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I don't actually care about the NHL. Believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, viewers. Who are... We just all we want to know is: Are they better than the one you are wearing right yeah, now? Yeah. Should I just do the 2022? Sure. 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 Okay. That one. Oh, that one's not great. No, I say no. Let's go no. That that one I'm saying no as well. Yeah, it's like, like a Digimon. That B is cool. Yes. That's the yep. Bruins, isn't it? Yeah, Boston Bruins. Yes. yes. They beat Vancouver Canucks in the final last time. That's played. better. Uh, that one, yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That so, one. Yeah, yeah, it's like like Canadian, like, and kind of like... It's a bison, isn't it? Two swords. The C, I think, is better. That's, that C is fire. Yeah, that is fire. Rivals, that's no. better. That's uh, like something a five-year-old would make. So? Yours is like something a four-year-old would make. <laughs> <laughs> Even this little thing there is cooler. Yeah. It looks like a, it looks like a cool internet browser. Yeah, or like, a, like, a, like, a, like, a, like the black hole. Yeah. This, the, yeah. Na- the, the Native yeah. American Don, cool. That the, one's that's... too paid. You like the next one. Yeah. It looks too patriotic. It's better than Nick's though. It's better than Nick's, yeah. yeah. I'll give you that. The A, that's a fire A. Love A's that. better than that. That think, D's sick. Yeah, that's better. That's Dallas. You can go see them. The okay, yeah, I will. I think okay. that one's better. Yeah, flying little fucking wheel. That's the one you like. Yeah, that's the one I like. Yeah. That's better. Oilers. I was going to say the Oilers one stinks. It's reminding me of like Twitch Oilers, which we love. We'd love that, but I yeah. think that logo stinks. Okay, sure, yeah, stinks, stinks. Florida, banging. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, better. LA, yep. Yeah, better. Just what it says on the tin, really. I, I, uh, that one I don't like the colours I like the it's it's I like the logo but wait hold on it's a panther with a sun and a fucking bridge yeah, but it's like a shit Mr. Beast no I like it well, that's that, on the fence that kind of like paved the way for Mr. Beast that's I like C- that one yeah CH cool yeah uh, oh that one looks like it's it looks like it had like a growth deficiency oh, and I love the, it. Tire, that- the, the two's gone a bit too big you're still better than still better than Nick's fucking ice skate. Oh, it is it actually is <laughs> it's, it's the same with two tiger mate I don't even like it but this is a bit stinky but it I looks like, like it. a like a devil relaxing. <laughs> it does, yeah. I don't know why you saw it that way. <laughs> you know it does, I mean? yeah, it does. Uh, worse. Yeah, I'm saying worse. This one's better. It's just cool. No, that was shit. Really? That's shit. Colors are cool. Okay, sure. Put it, put it, put it low. Oh, I've just seen one that's coming up that's banging. Well, that, the, yeah. I like this one. It's like a football one. Yeah. Still better. It looks like a German team. It looks well, like look. Hoffenheim. Yeah. That uh, one's cooler. Yeah, it's cooler. That one's Can cooler. Can you see what's coming up? This is so sick. This one's better. Is that fucking penguin? Yeah, yeah. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh penguins. That's better. Well, the name is shit though. Yeah, Pittsburgh if, penguins. Like, if no. you are a grown man supporting Pittsburgh penguins, no, but the, the, all the, that's N- sad. All the NHL teams are like that. Like not, Nottingham Panthers, you know, they're all like animals. Did and you stuff. just, what? Nottingham Panthers. Yeah, but Pittsburgh penguins. Illustration, PP. Go penguins, go. Okay, sure. Go <laughs> penguins, go. <laughs> that's cool, right? It's a little snake That's thing. cool. Yeah. What is that one? That's a shark. That's uh, sure then. That's cool. Yeah. Music note, cool. Yeah. 
I like this next one, yeah. It's, it's oh, like, I don't like it. The color, if it like, had an outline. If that was on a white background, you'd like it more, I like think. In, what about the name Tampa Bay Lightning? Does that help it or hinder uh, it? It's a nothing name. I'm going to put it worse because it's not on a white background. Sure, sure. If they want it on a white background all the time, put it on a white background. Well, this is a tier list maker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but as in if, if that team always wants it on a white background, they should incorporate the white background into the oh, like, a, like, like an outline, sure. Yeah, normally it's. Yeah. Yeah, it's, but like you see, it's white it's on blue. Basic. As well. I, yeah, in, I don't like it. By the way, on, on I think I, that's the only one there. By the way, that I could make on Photoshop. <laughs> so I'm going to say it's worse. Okay, ma Maple, Maple Leafs. Leafs yeah, that's iconic. Better. Yeah, that Canucks one better. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that one's sick. The Gladiator one. Yeah, that's better. Ooh, mm. Capitals. I'm no, actually. Yeah, I'm not a fan no, of that. that and that that little plane in a fucking leaf. Yeah. Oh. I wasn't sick. a fan. No, but be no, but better than Nick's one. I keep looking at it. Yeah, it's better. Let's, let's, yeah, let's, let's be honest. Like, <laughs> I look at sucks. that. I look at that, and I go, I don't like it. But then, and I want to put it low, and then <laughs> I look over. And, and also, I don't like that logo. And also, just so you guys know, what he said was he 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 went. Don't you think this is the best NHL logo ever? <laughs> it's the best sports logo ever. <laughs> sports no, logo. I was about ever. to say, name like, me a better sports logo. Everything. Right. We've uh, just gone through thirty not of them. Though, are they? Even forest badge better than that. It's That's just a fucking cool. tree. Because I looked up best sport, uh, logos, uh, best team logos now to see, to compare to Knicks. Compare it to NBA logos. All the NBA logos, I think, are better than all those yeah. logos. Yeah. Pull the some... NBA logos up. We don't need to do a tier list. Just let's see them. Any there that aren't better. Okay. Maybe the Bulls. I'll give you that's quite good. I think, okay, I'm going along the top. The top left one isn't great. Yeah. It, it gives some of the vibes to the Knicks one as well. Uh, the basketball one. The, the actual basketball in the star, the sun looking thing. I think that's shit. Ah, but it's still better than his. I like the Miami Heat one though. The Lakers one's great. The Cavaliers Lakers are sick as well. I think that's the only two that I think aren't. Heat one's average. They just are. Oh, let's put a basketball. So I'm He's about, a good one. I'm talking about on aggregate. On aggregate against the <laughs> NHL <laughs> ones. Oh yeah, these are way better. These are way better on aggregate. Yeah. The, the Bulls alone beats the entirety of the NHL. Yeah. <laughs> the Bulls is a very good logo. It is a very good logo. It's up there with the Vancouver Canucks old school logo. Shut up. Oh, and, right. and, and I know you guys like, are probably thinking, why have you wasted all this time? It's just because, I don't know, I just felt like, like I, I, the, the opinion was so bad. Just look at it. It's beautiful. Stop, man. It's better on there than it is your jumper. Your, your jumper doesn't do, do no favors, by the way. It's true. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about today, because yeah. just because it's just happened, Aiden Ross. Yeah. So recently he had, um, we had 21, Sta 21 Savage played against Kai Sinat. Yeah. In, uh, well, a bunch of games, I think. Mm -hmm. And he ended up winning a bunch of money. Okay. And then he went and played Aiden Ross at some games and lost a bunch of money. Quite controversial, right? Yeah. And then he won the money back playing dice and cards. Mm. And then it found, everyone found out, well, he did it on stream. Yeah. Had faked. Like, not faked. He had scratched cards. Yeah. He'd basically scammed him. Yeah. I was like, I don't, why? Firstly, you have to be kind of stupid to do it on stream. Yeah, unless you just don't understand how many of what people are watching or something or like how, where the cameras are. Maybe you've got a bit of a disconnect. I think, I think but if he's been doing that in front of people, you get, when you're good at it, because you wouldn't have noticed if that was happening in front of you. That's the thing. He must've been doing it loads and got a level of confidence with it. True. Because I know then uh, Aiden Ross was like, I think he didn't want to believe that 21 Savage had done it. And then he realized that those cards and dice are sold on 21 Savage's website. Mm. So he was like, oh, well, it's literally his cards. Like, yeah. And then he had, um, did he have Playboy Carty? That what, yeah. I, I, that's what I heard. He had Playboy Carty on his stream and he apparently gave him two mil and a Ferrari. Mad. To come on the stream. Mad. Playboy Carty turned up. Stayed there for five minutes and left. Oh my goodness me. Took the, took the stuff and left. Do you reckon he actually got paid then? I don't know. I do, think you, do you think this was true though? The whole cheating thing? Or do you reckon it was all faked? Well, I think it's true. Apparently got paid though, right? Didn't, didn't... 21 Savage paid it back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think it's true because I think that's such... Like, that's one of the dumbest PR plays of 21 Savage of like... Think how many rappers and people he's probably played games with and won money. If you've lost, say you've lost a hundred grand to him now, you're gonna go, I want my fucking money back. I know you've cheated. Mm, mm. Like he's gonna have so many people that he's gambled with now pissed that they know that he's cheated. Yeah, it's not the best PR. Yeah, it's not, it's not a good PR. And I know PR. he doesn't need to care about PR, but 
it's mm, more true. like what his relationship with any other rapper is going to be if he's if he has or maybe yeah maybe these days like actually like this like no you know the whole no bad publicity thing maybe like these days in tiktok in this age like he's mentioned more now so he's gonna get more plays and stuff so that it says two mil cash and Arari. did he maybe he gave him 50k for the stream and then he was gonna get him a two mil deal or something yeah i don't know actually but anyway he turned up for five minutes and left <laughs> mad, and mad. Uh, I saw I saw Aiden saying that this is the first time he's done a stream with someone where he hasn't had direct contact with them. Hmm. So everyone else, Tony Moore Savage, uh, well, who all the other rappers, all the other celebrities he's had on, he's texted them. Okay, they've come on the stream. Yeah, they've been cool. This is the first time he's gone through like a manager. Mad, mad. And that's what happens. Yeah, sure, sure. I just don't get how you can be that switched off. No, I mean, in terms well, of no. turning up. No, nah, but like, if you're a rapper, you're, just doing, you're in your own lane, right? You, just, you, you do music, you know, you're in your own circle. Like going on a Twitch stream probably just sounds a bit alien still. But um, yeah, 500k well, people waiting, like, apparently. If you're, if you're sat there going like, oh, I'm getting paid this much. Like I've agreed to it. Turn up and be there. Mm. You haven't agreed to five minutes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he might, he might not just rate him. Yeah. I don't know. This he is might not rate streamers or something. He might think he's outside outside of the lane. Yeah. Well, I, uh, he also. I, I don't know. I don't know what it really meant when Aiden was. He was on the phone as he left, and he was like, "Yo, don't let Carty on the jet, by the way. Oh man. Don't don't let him use the jet for free." Oh, they actually fell out then. Yeah. Apparently. Oh man, man. Okay, okay. But he was saying, "Yeah, don't let him use the jet for free." And I don't know if that means Aiden Russell had hired a jet for him to fly over or whatever, mm. but. But I, I'm not sure how much is real though. Cause remember that one where he like kicked his girlfriend out or something? That, that was obviously like seen a bit fake, right? So I yeah. Don't, I don't know. Like maybe, maybe it, whatever they're doing, it's working. Cause he's getting a lot of people on his stream now. It's you know, true. It's, it's bang, banging the stream numbers. So um, I just, yeah, I don't get any of it. America's just different. Man. I know we're starting to become um, the boomers now. I know. Like kids these days. <laughs> I mean, these how streamers. old is Aiden Ross? And he's got 22, isn't he? He's killing it. Probably. I like it. Because you saw a video of him saying like, oh, I'm going to do really well, you know, and he actually did it. So fair play. I, I mean, whether you like him or not, he's, he's, he's 23. He's killing it. So fair play. Well, could be JJ when he starts streaming. JJ will. Yeah. Yeah. We said on the last podcast, uh, he might be streaming by now, but he, he didn't. didn't yeah, no, no, he didn't. Um, shall we do? We asked, I asked the Discord this morning. I was in there. So yep. more what's good sections. Sure. And I told them to keep them like one word, two words, you know, okay. short things. So Let's do some of these. Nick, if you want to scroll through and give us some. To yeah. end the podcast, here we go. So the what's goods. Yep. Mm -hmm. We have uh, art museums. Art museums. I'm going to say light off. I'm going to say light on... I like them. I don't. I'd rather. I'd rather go to an art, like shop. Really? Yeah. Like I'd rather yeah. look at even if they're expensive art and I have no plan of buying it. The fact that you can, rather than just looking at an image. Because well, I went to Japan okay. and I went to an art museum in Japan. Yeah. And I looked at one painting. And I really liked it. I thought this is beautiful. Went to the end and it was a gift shop and I bought that painting there. Wow. For my dad, but one for me, one for my dad, which I thought was really cute. And then I left it in Japan. So I might need to actually, <laughs> what a sad turn to the story. I might need to look at that and try and find it again. But no, I actually liked it. I thought like, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. There's definitely things to do in cities that I prefer, but I'm not going to turn my nose up at it. I'll go have a look. Okay. But uh, people either like art, like art or you hate it, don't you? It's not really like a, um, no, nah, I'm just like, I don't mind it. It's, mm. it's just, it depends what kind of art. Sure. Sure. Like I don't really understand just, I, I get realistic art is you're talented, but mm. I don't really yeah. know. feel feel you. Yeah. All right, what's yeah. next, Nick? Scripted videos. Light I'll on. Caveat on on YouTube. Yeah, you. light on. Yeah. Light on, but I prefer less scripted. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with it. No, yeah, there, and it. some people do scripted videos really well. Yeah. So yeah, light still on, 100. percent Calzones. Light off. Why? They're so bad. I had a voice crack there. They're so bad. Are they? Yeah. What's bad about them? They're just like hot pockets of cheese. That sounds good to me. It sounds good, but it, it's like you you cut it open, then it's just boiling. It's just like <laughs> lava. 
and then by the time it's cool enough to eat, it's already kind of cold and just it's yeah, so much I done. Yeah, okay, that I, I would like to just get, I, I like having pizzas and folding them up though. I like doing that. That's different. Oh. And I don't know why. Oh. Well, let <laughs> la- off then. Sorry, Calzoni. Loud cars. I mean, I, I'm indifferent. I'm kind of indifferent, but I'm going to say light off because I keep buying like every Tesla's, car I've had yeah. has been electric for the last Yeah, go light off. No, as in like, okay, I'm, if I'm driving, if I'm walking down the street and someone's, someone's like, annoying, but if I'm driving like a cool Ferrari, I'm like, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah. It kind of depends on what, what kind of loud as well? Because when you're driving, yeah, if you're driving like a a nice Ferrari, it sounds nice. But you know when you get like a you get a proper like I don't know how to say it, like a racer car, mm. and it, it it starts like popping and stuff. I don't like when people up. put like the fake exhausts on. Yeah, it's a bit. But I get why they would do that. If I had to go either way, I would probably say lights off. Sure, sure. Which is a sin. But what else we got? Little Tykes toy car. I like, red one hold on, hold on. I feel like I've got one word. You keep picking ones with like. <laughs> <laughs> Any like one, like one word things. What, that's so specific. What, what, hold on. What did you just say? The, that was so specific. The, is that the little red car with the yellow roof? Yeah. What? The toy car that's like, it's like this big. It's You've definitely red, seen it. There's and it's no got the yet. yellow oh, roof. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, light on. Yeah, but that's so specific. That. Yeah, light on. Light on. The, the what's good thing should be like, <laughs> like, like swimming, you know, should, like, it's like, you know. Like calzone or. That's not bad. That wasn't bad. <laughs> but like that, that's, that car is so specific. Like, that, no, but that's the most universal toy in the world. Like, yeah. It's the official title of it. Okay. All right, then Barbie. Light on. Cool. Just quite Good fit. conversation there, isn't it? <laughs> Good movie. No, but okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. I, like, I had one of those as a kid, and it was pretty lit. A Barbie? No. No. Oh. Shut up. Meditation. Ooh, and there, here we go. Now we're talking. Light on. It's good for you. Light off. Why? I don't, I'm, I'm not like, not like, um, not that. Like, yeah, if anyone else wants to do it, fair. But for me, light <laughs> off. You can't stop them. <laughs> well, yeah, but as in like. I will allow it. <laughs> I'm not going to say like, if you do it, oh, you're I think, I think it would be good for you. Uh, I don't know. Cause I think you've like, it, it, it's, you're supposed to like get in, in tune with like reality, you know? Am I just not in tune with reality? No, no, but I think because like, you know, I think the actual meditation is where you're supposed to like, you know, take all your thoughts away. And be still, be mindful, you know. So you're, you're not worried about anything, no anxiety, no like stress, and you just yourself. It'd be kind of good for you. I feel like there's an insult in there somewhere. No, 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 no. For all, for us all. But you're busy, very busy. So yeah. you know, you, you can be going through your busy days, side and all this stuff, and then you know, but spend ten minutes at home in the morning, just being yourself. Yeah. Light I, off still. Light, I'm going. I'm going. Light on. Light on. Anyone? Anyone meditate? Uh, no, I would like to. I think I think meditating is very hard. It'd be That's great for you, John. Isn't it? Isn't meditation like one of the easiest things to do in terms of like, you could do it tonight. I think doing it do well it. is hard. Well, no, there's no obstacle. You don't need anything. You don't need you, anything. You don't need like. Yeah, but it doesn't I, cost I, anything. I, you don't I need can't anything. meditate because I have too much else to think about. That's, my uh, that's why. That's, but that's, that's the like point of meditation. That's, yeah, that's an excuse for me, John. It sounds like you're just being excuseful. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. I think. You should, uh, well, I think you should try it, John. I think you should make an effort to try it. You know, he had a massage yesterday. What? Instead of doing podcast topics. Or meditating. Fucking hell, John. I was painting the house and I got a lot of That doesn't sound like you. It sounds like you're being painted with oil. Oh, well, <laughs> I, I, was, yeah, I was being painted with oil later in the evening, yes. Where did you I, have a massage? At your house? No, no. I went, I went to a massage place. Is did it the you? one you've got in your phone? What, oh, yeah. No, that's a different massage place. Was it tied? Like, ah, that's a different type of massage place. Ending, I'm John. a cameraman. I need to be rubbed. Ugh. Right. I would hate to rub you, John. No, you'd love it, mate. I'm joking. Uh, Any more? Vinyl. Ooh, yeah, light on. I like vinyl. Yeah, light on. Yeah, I like vinyl a lot. It's coming yeah. back as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's like much like trendy now. Yeah. Oh, what you listen to music? What on your Spotify? <laughs> I've got vinyl. Uh, sorry, vinyl flooring. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> light off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alcohol-free beer. Light on. Uh, light on. Yeah. Yeah, it's very good for when you have, like want a social. You want the socialness of drinking, but you don't actually drink. Yeah. Light on. Mismatch socks. Or odd socks. Light off. Light off. I hate it, but like now I'm like living alone. Sometimes I'm like I'm there. I'm like, oh, these don't go together. What do I do? But I don't match them. I'm really like picky with my socks. Yeah. They have to. They have to match each other. Like even I've got you know Adidas two two Adidas socks. One of them's a little bit shorter than the other, and I'm like, I, yeah, I can't. I know do they don't go together, so I have to go like through my whole drawer to find them. I throw them away. 
<laughs> what? Randy, Randy, I've got a hack for you. I only have the same pair of Nike socks. Just no, no, that's, so I told cares. myself, when I move to my apartment, which I have them now, I'm going to just throw all my other socks away and buy the same Nike socks. Yeah, just buy like 10 pairs. Or just... more, even more. But then on Christmas, my mum bought me some nice socks that were a different brand. And I was like, oh, I can't do it yet. So maybe, maybe in like a few months, I'll start doing that. Last yeah. one? Yep. Board game nights. Oh, big light on. Light on. Fuck yeah, man. Bro, I want to do more of them. Let's do it. Well, I don't do any of them, so I want to do some. Yeah, why don't you <laughs> organize one? But don't make it couples only, because I feel like you would do that. I don't have a couple right now, so. <laughs> nah, but I feel like they always... John. If I if I put in the troops, like, let's do a board, board I game I guarantee night, they would say yes. And I guarantee you that it would turn into Monopoly and we all have to put money in. <laughs> and you know for a fact that's happening. No, okay, it won't be Monopoly, but what's wrong with putting a bit of money in? Like friendly money, like ten pounds. But what for? What just gives you a bit more feeling towards it. But then, like, I don't know. I shall just... I, do you want to put it in or shall I put it in? I would don't you, like. Would you count quiz games in a board game night, like Trivial Pursuit uh, uh, and yeah. stuff like yeah. that? Yeah. Sorry, and you're not talking Magic the Gathering, not that level. I would love to do a Duns- Dungeons and Dragons night. <laughs> I think it'd be so fun, but I wouldn't want to do it with anyone that wouldn't actually, actually like give well, it a go. Well, I feel like Randy has an opinion on it. Oh, no. I wouldn't invite him at all. What? <laughs> I would do it. No, you'd get like 10 minutes in and be like, oh, this is so stupid. It's funny, but it's stupid. No, I would join like, I love strategy games. I love like- You immediately laughed. No, no, because I knew others, others, won't, do it, others won't do it. I wouldn't invite them. Yeah, no, I, I would do it. But no, but who would you invite then? Because then that would then turn me off. I hope you wouldn't <laughs> be turned on by anyone I invite. Oh, John's coming. I don't know, but I, I think you'd have to get someone who knows how to play it properly. They go on for so long though, you know. I know, but you have to also immerse yourself. Like I don't yeah, want anyone do, that's do, like, do. okay. But not, we don't dress up though. No, nah, you wouldn't dress up. You know, I wanted to do- You'd have like a hat. I wanted to do a main channel <laughs> video where we're gonna go and do LARPing, like live action role play. Oh my God. But you can't, like, we've been looking at it, but like you, they don't really let anyone in to because t- they're, they're gonna take the piss. Yeah. And they're not, yeah. But if anyone out there just laughing and it would let you me- could, You could organize your own event though. Yeah, but, but I want to go to the people who are actually like... No, no, but oh. organize your own event. Find people that are oh, fans that true. do it. They can do it. Okay. And then you're, you're just uh, anyone involved. In the comments, anyone out there who LARPs, let me know. We'll hook it up. Like, I know Dungeons & Dragons will probably be the nerdiest night of my life. <laughs> but I think, <laughs> like... But you're going to get cool, though. In, instead of being like, the, the goblin enters the I think you have stable to, house. No, but you could be like, you know... The what? space man and the, the pimp starts hitting the hoe. Yeah, no. that's my kind of game. Well, you no, can't. I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> you have to just immerse yourself and take it. Like, yeah, okay, that's how sure. it is. But it'd be, it'd be funny though. We can still take the piss out of each other, surely. No, you can take the piss out of each other, but it's like you can't go. <laughs> oh, a troll approaches you. What do you do? And it's like, oh, I get my dick out and wank <laughs> on it. But you got roll dice, right? And that dictates what you do. It's yeah. hard. You you can you can lead it. You can host. No, no, it. no. We would, I'd have to get someone, someone to play to host. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's probably the one thing you couldn't host. No. I wouldn't want to host it. No, you, you want to play. I want to be a little yeah. orc. Have you, <laughs> have you seen the, the Reddit threads? It's really sad. We're like, some guys like, I, I spent the last 20 hours like setting up a Dungeons and Dragons session and no one turns up. And they've got the whole board there, snacks, oh, the whole story written oh, out. It's so sad. It's really I'll sad. go. Is it in England? It's probably it's like four years ago. Oh. But no, no, no. <laughs> if he's still there, <laughs> if no one's turned up still. Nobody should look <laughs> Oh my God. No, wait, minute, minute, I'll read it out. Nobody showed up. Uh, command and plus. Okay, so Dungeons and Dragons, no one showed up. Just hit level five. I thought it was going pretty well. This is the second time no one called or showed up and I feel like such an idiot. Spending the last two weeks, oh my God, preparing oh. for this day. I'm going to give up being a dungeon master. Pretty much all I've done the last few months is read about this game, prepare content that will never see the light of day. And I just can't think about how much time I've wasted doing this. I hope you all have better luck than me. I think my time with Dungeons and Dragons is coming to a close roll. That's so sad. That Power is. to you, mate. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. And I will look at that. edit. Thank. I was not expecting to wake up to all of this. I kind of forgot about it. So, you guys are so awesome. So everyone in the comments have actually like backed him and said, "I'll come. I'll hang out." Like, okay, when I say I'm down for a Dungeons and Dragons night, I mean I'm down for any board game night. Yeah, yeah. I think, or even like just any games night of any sort. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be more easy to be easier, sorry, to get that going than Dungeons and Dragons, unless oh, you get some like weirdos in like John. Um, <laughs> but um, also, uh, yeah. I just think the troops is just the troops will immediately go. Yeah, let's make one of the games poker, and then that's the entire night. True, true. It's just yeah. It yeah. always revolves around money. Have you ever heard of Munchkin? No. Munchkin's very good. It's like an easier, like lighter version of Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, okay. It's a good starting point. Cool. Of course good, he too. knows. <laughs> of course you'd know, John. Yeah, it's fun. What one board game would you bring, or would you play? I like uh, what's the game? Articulate. I, I like articulate. Oh, you would okay. like that. 
Yeah, I would. What comes because I'm smart. Thanks, John. Because you can't articulate. Oh, I actually can't articulate very well. I played last night uh, with my Kofi membership thingy at Among Us. Nice. And win? I, oh uh, no, I didn't win. <laughs> actually, I didn't win. I, but I will say as well. We're actually, even though a lot of people in our group that we play with, like Savin on, it's not not great. We're actually pretty good, you know, compared. A lot of people don't. A lot of people uh, buckle under pressure who haven't played it before. Okay. Like, like you're the imposter. They go, oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> we're good at just lying, though. Yeah, true. But true. we're not like no one can Mechanics. finish. No one can finish tasks. Oh, tasks we don't do. Yeah, tasks <laughs> like, we don't do. I will say they well, are chi- child tasks, and people are. can't do it. I couldn't be bothered to, to turn my PC on and connect through my because I've been using my laptop a lot recently. So I tried to play it on Mac, and it's not on Mac for some reason. Even though you can get it on an iPhone and iPad, but you can play on a Mac the iPad version. Okay. So I was doing that, but you have to click the joystick. <laughs> oh my god! So it's so hard. <laughs> I was banging into everything. But uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Right. Take care. Yeah, we're gonna call it there. We'll see you guys next week. John, um, John's got sidecast, man. Yeah. I, bet, I bet you prepared for sidecast. I didn't. These cameras actually need to go downstairs. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. wow. Well, thanks for watching. Bye. Love you all. Peace. 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 Woo!